I hosted my first ever Apex Legends tournament, and it had a little bit of a twist. Between each round, we permanently banned two legends, meaning that by the end of this tournament, 10 whole legends were banned. I invited 20 content creators to make teams with pros and compete for a prize pool of $5,000. And I got to cast it with my buddy Boomrazzle. And now, here is the first ever Macdown. Welcome, Don't say anything welcome. embarrassing. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> welcome everybody to the Mac Down. Been preparing this tournament for the past couple months now, and it's finally here. And of course, I am joined by none other than one of my favorite people in the world, Boom Razzle. Very nice to meet you all. I am Boom Razzle, co-casting with Macro today. Macro, thank you very much for the information, uh, for the invitation, my friend. I really appreciate it. What's going to be going on today? So today we're playing a bit of a simple tournament here. If you guys are not familiar with Apex Legends tournaments, the way this is going to work is we got twenty. Hulk team captains here. Average Aiden, Big E, Bottle Cap, Clara, Daz, uh, Drum Bum. Actually, we've got to fix that. I think Bottle Cap's no longer in this. But regardless, we got 20 teams in here. They're going to be dropping in Apex Legends style, all 60 players going in trying to win, trying to get the dub, trying to get eliminations. And that's how they'll rack up points. They'll get points by placements and they'll get points by eliminations. However, the big twist here, a little bit of a twisty here, is that between each round, the most played legend and Two of the most played legends will be banned. The most played being automatically banned, and then you, the fans, will be voting on who to ban for the rest of the tournament. Is it possible to ban Seer immediately? Some people have really requested that, but unfortunately, that's just not how the rule set works here. But hopefully, we maybe will see a lot of Seer this first round. I think people are going to be trying to just play the best possible team compositions in order to not lose out on playing them before they're banned, you know? Absolutely, absolutely. So it's going to be ALGS-style scoring. It's going to be half placement, uh, as well as a, a point for every limit. A limit nation but i think the thing that i'm most excited for is just for this macdown special legend being eliminated we've honestly never seen anything like this correct me if i'm wrong yeah actually i'm not 100 percent sure like i mean i'm not an originator of this idea they've done this in other games before but i don't think anyone's ever done this at such a big scale in apex legends so here's a quick question to ask you though boom sure. and maybe those of you in the audience at home which legend do you think is going to be banned first i mean i think just by play numbers i think it's gonna be seer is going to be automatically out the most popular legend is just automatically out and i mean you chat please you gotta be with me i, I don't want to see valkyrie for too long i know she just got nerfed but i'm thinking seer valkyrie is gonna be my number one and number two but honestly depending on which team has the most success say if somebody is really annoying with caustic or revenant or something i don't know mm. chat could surprise us so but i'm gonna be putting my money on seer valkyrie they're out of here. Game one. And yeah, and that is the biggest twist. The little bit of the, the best part about this whole thing is that you, the chat, gets to vote for that second legend to be banned. So if you really like Valkyrie and don't want her to get banned and you want to vote for Caustic instead, that's on you. But I think our game is almost ready. I think we're about to get right into this first round. Are you ready, everybody? I cannot wait. Cannot wait. Everybody in their seats? Got get your water? Cat. Your got your popcorn? <laughs> I, I got my water. You got your water? Boom, boom. You got your water, dude? Uh, I got kombucha. As well kombucha, as a gallon, okay. a gallon of water. I you already almost gallon would, weird there. <laughs> yeah, well, is it possible to take a bathroom break soon? We'll have plenty of time for that and plenty of time to check in on this action. Let's get ourselves into this first game. We are loading in as we speak. Um, but once before we start, I do want to give a special shout out to Airlock for hosting this whole thing. And as well as the Kittle Cat for creating all these amazing graphic designs. The logo that we have for the entire tournament. I think uh, if you guys like the logo, there's also now a new emote in my chat. If you want to use that, Mac, uh, I think it's Macro Down. If you type that in, then my little face gets punched. Uh, I, <laughs> some of you like that, I guess. Here we go. We got the 20 teams here already picking their team compositions as we speak. Look at them already in the legend select. Seeing a lot of Sears already. A lot of Sears. Dude, I'm seeing a lot of Valks. Are you kidding me? I'm seeing a shocking amount of Newcastles. That could be somebody who could end up being out first. But I think I think chat wants to see Newcastle. I think people want to see that. Uh, okay. Honestly, Sears definitely going to be banned. <laughs> wow. Yes. <laughs> it's almost everybody has a Seer. Um, Wow. Uh, you know what I'm disappointed by? Where are the vantages? Come on now. I'm calling the ball. Nah, not, I think I only saw one person. I think Daz was the only person that whipped out advantage for this first round. You I just got what? a little Pro sneak peek at that. Props to Daz. Props to Daz. He would. You know what I'm saying? So, Boom, who, where do you think is the best... Uh, people are obviously going to be spreading out here, but where do you think is going to be... Where do you think the ring is going to be pulling the, for this first game? So, uh, this is a well-known fact uh, with Apex Legends zone logic. Uh, down and to the left, southwest, 
Th there's something in this game, uh, in the zone logic, where regularly it pulls down to the left. That's why uh, G2 used to land at Thermal Station, and now Furia, uh, honestly, probably the, one of the most exciting teams to watch right now in the pro scene. They are they have claimed Thermal Station, uh, and the beef is already going down between his Watson and Designful on Twitter. So I I'm excited once uh, Pro League starts up to see how that battle for Thermal goes. But Moose, Cody, and Enoch have claimed that place for themselves. Wow, and wow. there you go. It's a southern zone. The south is supreme on World's Edge. Let's check in. Let's check in on it. Oh, already we got oh a team. Gosh. Zero's zero team. Zero Love Gibbons team is already fighting what appears to be Retrospect's team. They might be able to completely recover from this because they do have the Caustic. And Caustic can potentially get them back up here. But yeah, Ovali right now is down. Yeah, that CLG Mamba playing Caustic. I have not gotten the POV from the other team yet. Oh my gosh, it's teammate versus teammate. Nano versus uh, the other counter logic player. It looks like they're trying to make something happy here as Retrospect is going to have to 2v1. And now it's a 1v1. We've zero countered. Zero versus Retro. Zero versus Retro. The captains are here. This we'll is captain versus captain. Who's going to take this Harvester win? He gets the res up, but Retrospect able to get the res off. Gets the Caustic up. The, this is bad. The longer that Zero stalls, the worse it's going to get for his team. Dropping down to that low ground, even though he's able to preserve his life, um, now that Nano is alive, he, he's one of the better pros that's out there right now. Um, this and, is looking worse and worse by the second. And they're picking up the res on Dimmy. Dimmy is back up. That's huge. Their entire team has just completely reset. I think they were able to secure a kill on uh, one of Zero's teammates right zero's zero's team one of zero's teammates got thirsted if, I'm, if i recall i, I believe you oh no oh, they're, they're no, both so nice and i mean he's just gonna get swamped now he's just gonna oh, get swamped and like that zero's the first team to be out zero love given out in 20th place for this first round that doesn't mean they're out for the tournament though they still have a chance they have five more rounds to completely get in get some points and still come out on top but we're Absolutely. seeing that caustic is pretty dang good at recovering your whole entire team Oh my gosh, and there are already as teams are trying to rotate south, uh, they're running into another team who probably smelled blood in the water. Uh, this might have been a team that landed in the POI next door. But I'm going to imagine they're going to be able to stabilize here with Caustic. And oh my gosh, Team Daz has walked in Harvester as well. Uh, James Fearless and Prince the Omega, a team that you were hyping up before uh, the cast started. You're good friends with uh, Prince. How has his transition to uh, Apex been in the last year? Yeah, he was at one point the number one uh, hyperscape player. And look at him, already getting a kill on Retro. Yeah, he's his transition into Apex Legends has been pretty seamless for the most part. Speaking of seamless, though, I do want to wonder if our feed is supposed to be seeing every single player's names uh, constantly mm -hmm. throughout the entirety of the maps. Maybe we can get that a little bit sorted. If not, it's not a big deal. No, that's the toggle. We could toggle that if we can get rid of some of the names in the background. Yeah. That would be ideal, but otherwise, it looks like Prince was able to secure a kill on Retrospect. However, Retrospect's team is not completely out, as you can see, 19 squads are still alive. Um, so I think their, their teammate, which is the Valkyrie, was able to completely get out of there. Maybe can potentially uh, rat their way to like a, a higher placement, get some points yep. secured for their yep. team. And Macro, so I, I was able to attend uh, the ALGS Championship. Uh, I went to the final day, final Sunday, at the, uh, the $2 million finals. And in the crowd, it was electric. When they hovered the camera over a rat, people love watching rat plays, and they, they were just freaking out. It was actually so fun uh, watching people just lose their minds as people were walking by rats. Um, and another thing that people like to do in the crowd, they go, dupe. Whenever Duplex <laughs> is on screen. Can we hop over to Team Staycation? Uh, I have a soft spot in my heart for Team Staycation. He has Reptar and Duplex as his teammates. Um, and honestly, they're, they're my pick to click. I, I think they're gonna run away with it. Do you have any early predictions, Macro, that maybe we can uh, hold over, over each other's heads? It's a little bit hard to tell who's gonna run away with it. At this point, I think, I mean, a part of me really likes Drumbum, Nicewig, a Prizzy. That combination just stacked. seems so stacked. And right now, we actually see his and hers live. Uh, one of the team captains here, I believe his is representing his and hers right now. Andrew's <laughs> going to be the his portion. No, the no, Macro, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's the her on the keyboard and his is on the mouse. But if you insist that it's only Andrew, I will believe you. But I, a little bit disappointed that we're duplex, not seeing a 50 Duplex, <laughs> duplex just got a knock on Tifa. Duplex and was oh able to get a knock there. Fighting. Gosh. Still having the fight between Tifa's team and Saycation's team is happening right now as we speak. 
Bronzing in the background, able to get a kill on Bane. Bane is out of the out of this round. I mean, they could still potentially re revive. Reptar able to get a knock on Designful. Looking like Tifa's team is getting slowly but surely attacked here. These are very early fights. I've not seen people fight this early in the, at most tournaments. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of shocked. I think a lot of people, uh, especially, you know, pros in particular, are thinking, you know, I'm really good at this game. There are a lot of content creators in here. There's going to be, you know, teams slightly weaker than I'm used to fighting. If I could just navigate my captain, my content creator, uh, around these fights, I think we're going to get some early KPs. I imagine a lot of people are thinking that and people are getting aggressive. Um, uh, but they're 100%. just they're just loading up uh, where they think the zone is going to pull. Um, this is, this is going to be so crowded. Use the most. I and I think I could be wrong. Um, the teams that are that are winning these fights happen to have caustic, which is not used yeah. as much. Yeah. But you know, caustic may still land, may still survive a couple rounds after this if your if their usage just stays this low. Yeah. No, you're exactly right. I'm looking at the map right now, and I think it's hilarious to see Noob King all the way up still in Skyhook. I was wondering if there are going to be any hard edge teams. Um, you end up being in Skyhook when for one of these southern pulls, and you might just say, hey, we're going to take our time, we're going to craft, and we're just going to stay north, and, and we're going to pick up the pieces later. Um, but that's really funny to see some people just like absolutely in the orange. But I wonder if they're underestimating these new zone changes. Have you have you, have you had any run-ins with the zone this season, Macro? It has been horrible. Yeah, the zone. <laughs> it's a little bit of a, uh, a little bit of a shaky subject for me. But basically, the zone. If you if those of you in the chat and those of you watching don't know, the zone has a little bit more damage and moves slightly faster. And I think a lot of teammates, a lot of teams here probably know this going in, but are also underestimating it. Because, yeah, you're gonna, we probably end up seeing a couple knocks, maybe not in the first ring, but by the second ring, we probably see a couple knocks just in the zone itself. Speaking of knocks, Omnu able to knock Battle Buddy number one. Who's Battle Buddy number one? Who's Battle Buddy number one? I think that's Monsoon. I think that's Monsoon, if I, if I can recall correctly. Yeah. I thought, that I thought that he was Hot Dog Man. Oh, I have no idea then. <laughs> no, I think you're right. I think it's Monsoon. Um, I saw whoever Battle Buddy 1 is, he was playing with Nicewig earlier. They were ranking uh, to warm up for the tournament earlier today. I saw Ooh, it was, it was team is getting demolished, though, by both the Enoch's team. Enoch, Enoch and, and, and Moose's team just completely demolishing them. All right, so I want to catch Chad up on this team right here. This is Team Moose, um, and these three have a, a distinct advantage over the rest of the field in that they're rank grinders and they're buddies, and chemistry is not to be underestimated uh, in, in these tournaments. So I think just the fact that, you know, even if maybe they're not the number one, two, three players in the world, I think just the fact that they understand each other and their limitations um, I, I think this is going to be a really good team, and they're just in such a good position. No, um, especially with the crafter, like being being in the position in the ring with the crafting. Crafting is so so important, especially in the highest ranks. Um, being able to get batteries, being able to upgrade your armor if you don't already have it, being able to get ammo, all these different yep. things that you don't even realize how important they are. Speaking of which, we have uh, Team Princess over here, all the way on the other side of, of Geyser. Can they be able to slowly rotate in pretty safely uh, into the zone on a different angle where not many teams are? So hopefully they can get in, get a spot, and get in pretty safely. Yeah, and they're all just waiting for the second round to close to see who ends up winning the coin flip. Uh, it's a tough thing in Apex that they're, you know, in, in BRs there's going to be randomness. There's going to be RNG. Um, and we're going to see this uh, second zone close in 60 seconds. Gosh, that's so much faster than it used to be, isn't it? And we're going to yeah. see who gets who gets lucky and uh, who ends up with the short end of the stick. Oh, 100%. It looks like it looks like Princess's team wants to try to take a position closer to. Uh, oh man, I cannot think of the name of this area here with the lava, <laughs> lava and the siphon. gondola, the, lava the, siphon. The, thank the, you. The formerly Sorting Factory respawn. Bring back Sorting Factory. You did our favorite POI so dirty. Um, oh, 100%. Yes, la lava siphon. I mean, the gondolas are cool, sure, but I just I just miss Sorting Factory. All right. Oh, yeah, all my homies love Sorting Factories, all my <laughs> homies, you know, gondolas, they're cute, you know, but like, yeah, we have, but, we have but, legs. Yeah, what if we kiss on the conveyor belt, you know? <laughs>
<laughs> exactly. <laughs> Let's go take a peek at some of the teams that are fighting closer to the center of zone with other teams around them. So if you can see, there's plenty of teams that are just holding multiple layers of these internal spots in Lava Siphon. That's going to be something that's going to we're going to see constantly throughout this tournament. One building can host two, even three whole teams yeah. just on each other's different floors because they'd rather not fight and get third party. They'd rather just have the position, uh, have the advantage when the ring eventually does close. Yeah, you're exactly right. I, I think uh, typical with tournaments, and we're kind of seeing that right now, although there are, are a lot of rats, only 47 people live, yet there's 16 teams still up. Um, people want placement. I mean, this is still ALGS format, and uh, some teams came out really aggressive, but now we're seeing the lobby settle down a little bit, and it's really tightening up as it's just so crowded now. Um, I'm really digging this team composition here that we're watching. We got Seagull on Newcastle, Yep. Shiny on Watson, and of course the necessary Valk that everyone's running. Yep. I'm and, I'm uh, curious to see why that why that composition is what it is. Like why Watson, why Newcastle? I would love to see so, some insight. So the team that spearheaded this comp was 100 Thieves, and they ended up getting, I believe it was at least top five. They they did extremely well in uh, ALGS Championships, and the what the idea is between this uh, this comp is you're trying to do exactly what they're doing right now. Burrow yourself in a corner, use hard cover, create cover with the Newcastle wall, and then put the Watson gen behind it. It becomes a lot more permanent than a Gibby bubble. Even though the Gibby bubble protects you from 360 degrees, uh, by by allowing uh, yourself to protect the gen, you, ex you just have so much value out of it. And now we're seeing some oh, fighting coming out with Cody Moose. Cody with Kiggle and Clara. Clara is knocked out of the race. Moose's team able to fight. However, Seagull's team going to be fighting. It looks like Reptar's team, which is Staycation. Are oh, here comes to... the bubble fight. And I don't think anybody's going to be doing it better than Duplex. Oh my god, oh the knocks are coming out. Huge damage from uh, uh, Yanya on Duplex. And he's going to retreat back into the caustic gas. Where are his teammates? Is Duplex alone? Where's Staycation? Where's Reptar? They're both knocked. And that's it. Oh I think my... that's it for them. No, 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 no. Wait, what just happened? Duplex just got the kill Wait, on uh, who's Yanya. Alive? Who's alive? I'm so du confused. Duke du 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 was alive right there. He, he just somehow got a elimination and an armor swap. That is a huge mistake by that teammate. They, if he had teammates alive. We need to go back. We need to go back to that team to see what the heck's going on there. <laughs> yeah, let's go to Duplex. Can we check out Team Sacation? I gotta see what's happening. Team Sacation's team, I think, is still in. Not 100% sure. If not, the Duplex is yeah, watching these, uh, these edge battles with Team Princess right now. And um, a lot of teams that play edge, uh, they're looking for eliminations. They know that they're not going to be getting that high placement. Uh, points because they're they just happen to be in the very center um but they're gonna be fighting for those edge spots oh my gosh and this is a fan favorite team with uh rambo in the team i don't know if you were able to see his performance in uh, algs but stepping in for gmt rambo has just been going on a tear and honestly i think this is his year i think he's going to blow up this year um oh, Hodzik, oh, andrew from his and hers this is a really good team I'm really excited to finally see Hotsik competing. Hotsik normally is a mm -hmm. captain, so seeing him finally get back and get a little bit of that itch to compete. I know this is more of a creator and a little bit more of a fun tournament, but I know he's been having that itch, and I think yeah. he's been doing a really solid job holding this team together. Probably IGLing. Who knows exactly what he's going to be doing here. No, I think you're right. I think he's probably IGLing. You got Rambo as the controller fragger, and then you have Andrew just holding on for dear life. <laughs> uh, but, but he has honestly been competing uh, quite a bit in uh, for fun tournaments and also slightly serious tournaments. So um, I think he's going to be able to hold his own. But I think Did you're right, just abandon? Did they just abandon? Is Hot Sick? Is Hot Sick? Oh okay? my gosh! Fun up, yes. Dre and this is Team Drainilla who is threatening to kill Hot Sick. They're able to get height and push them back. But oh my God, is Dre's team scary? Oh man, let's get checking Dre's team down there. Drainilla's team down there with fun FPS. They're just completely contesting that high ground spot that they that they want so badly. Yeah, let me get that um, whole list for you. Yeah, it's, it's Dre, fun FPS, and Zara, and Zara. Tr is Zara Tricky uh, of Furia. Oh my gosh, this team is stacked. This team is, all these teams are very stacked for their own different reasons. And I love seeing these interesting team, compo team compositions. Speaking of which, Drainilla is the only one on, not the only one, but one of the few people I've seen on Horizon just yeah, in this yeah. game right now. And if you're choosing Horizon, you're going to be aggressive. You're just you're trying to use your ultimate, get people tripped up in it, and just just go to wipe up a team quickly. You know what I'm shocked not to see is Mad Maggie. Yeah, I was surprised not seeing Mad Maggie, but Gibby's also not getting as much usage as I thought either. Yeah, you're right. So 
Mad Mag is just existence is letting, making people not want to pick Gibby, if that makes sense. Yes, yes. That kind of... Oh! Like that? Next door was able to get a kill on, on Monsoon, but Monsoon also trading with Cody. Oh my gosh, but it looks like they have the, they're leading the damage battle. I'm thinking this is going to be Team Cody all the way, unless they're able to pull team. off a miracle yeah. here. And Moose is team able but... to get him, but the, a third party from Phonyhead. Phonyhead able to get a knock on Enoch. Oh, and now the third party's rolling in. They took too long. Moose, okay, Moose is just at least playing rat. his life. Moose oh, and, and Trump Trump Bum, Trump Bum's Trump Trump Bum. No Moose way. is right next to Trump Bum. He might back that thing back up into it. Oh my gosh, and this is Team Girl walking in. It, it just so happens every once in a while that one room just becomes a battlefield. And there's just armor swaps. There's just death boxes. I mean, this is where all of the action's happening. Oh my god. Oh man, I cannot wait to see what exactly goes down here. Yeah, because there's awful. already Crazy Rash's team is also in as well. Yep. Able to get Excellent. a kill on Princess. Thermite. Oh my gosh, my phony head. And in the background, I noticed in the kill feed, uh, Moose did end up finding his co-rat drum bum and ended up killing him. So I think that we still have a rat in Moose for all of you that are teaming, uh, who are just cheering for Team Rat. Who loves to see an Underdark story. Oh my god, phony oh head somehow god, didn't realize he had neighbors. <laughs> The, the best thing that I'm seeing so far right now is that all these teams with Watson are doing phenomenal. Watson was yep. definitely the counterplay. It stops Seer. You, you, you can't... Seer can hit you with this with a tactical, but the uh, Watson's ultimate will still protect you from nades and even will heal you mm -hmm. in the background. So you're not even worrying about that. Yeah. Didn't even think about how strong this would be if everyone is assuming Seer would be the meta pick here. Yeah. And I'm seeing Moose, that. And Moose just got killed from girl. Girl, then no. Moose go to the zone and die? What happened there? He just bled out. And Moose is out like that. We have eight squads, 20 holds, 20 players left, which means there's two, one squad with two. But other than that, there's no rats left. Yep. These are a lot of really strong teams left. And we've got Sore Mommy. I believe that's Mick, right? <laughs> I think that is with Mick. With 100 Thieves, Anmu, and Voltic. <laughs> Dude, and oh, Anmu, they, they were in trouble earlier. They're still hanging on for dear life. Trainilla has been knocked by Andrew of his and hers live. With the oh, vault, wow. of course, a lot of vaults as well. We're even going to talk about the gun meta, but I was going to tell you that I, we're going to see a ton of vault action here. Yep, and they're still applying the pressure. I mean, just having Dre go down right there, I wouldn't be surprised to see a push. They're going to want Zero Tricky and Fun out of this lobby as fast as possible because all six games, they're going to be problematic. So if you can kind of play spoiler and get them out of here quick, that's going to be huge uh, for hot six teams. Ooh, so are mommy, they're on the roof. This is what we're talking about. Multiple multiple teams in the same building. One on top, one on the second floor, one on the bottom floor. We're just seeing a lot of this gonna happen throughout World's Edge. World's Edge has the really tall buildings. Using the bow truck, trying to kill Dimmy there. Dimmy is out. Vaxlon able to secure the kill on Dimmy. And right now we got Anu just trying to get some picks to get a pick here from a distance with this bow check. They are all in the open. Multiple teams are yep. looking at those teams in the open. God, the bow is just so nasty. Now now that it's an heirloom, I think they finally gave the bow. It's it's the weapon with the most bullets. You know what I mean? I pick up the scout. I feel like I don't have enough bullets. The bow has 90 bullets. It's insane. He's going to be getting so much value out of it. It's so cool seeing uh, our very first bow heirloom in a tournament. Oh, 100%. It is still on top. We're seeing some action going there with Clayne's uh, girls team. Girls team down there is setting up a bunch of Watson fences. Watson seeming like the pick, the underrated pick here, because Watson's not even up for, not even up for debate in terms of being uh, voted in at all for this yep. first round. But Watson ends up being such a power player for this particular round in this tournament. I'm loving it. I'm loving how just the idea of a player being banned um, changes how people play. Yep, yep. And I mean, we were expecting to see Newcastle get a higher pick rate in tournaments because of the recent round of buffs. But I mean, this is just a perfect demonstration of just the value that he's providing. They gave everything uh, more damage absorption, the walls, the tactical. So look at, this is so much better than a Gibby bubble. They're just hanging out on the roof. This wouldn't have been playable before Newcastle existed. And now here they are. Oh, Serious Storm on AK terrorizing. Storm terrorizing from a distance. This, this team on the height, are, they're target number one for the majority of these other players that are looking right at him. But Newcastle is going to con consistently make, I mean, make cover. There's so much value. There's also a team underneath them that they're not even. That's com this team up top is distracting the entirety of the enemy teams from the team on the bottom, which is Hot 16. And like that, Mick is already down. Yeah, on move. They may not be able to get this oh. out there. I don't know if this is going to work out for them. No, Voltic is still up, though. Voltic can potentially he rack, get some heals off of that. He's dropping the ultimate. He's gonna be. He's gonna hope to hide in the chaos. 
I don't know if that's gonna be and possible. Like, bad, that's not gonna be is in the cards. <laughs> Fun able to secure that kill on Voltic. There are f top five squads left here in the second to last ring. Actually, final ring. Yep, final ring right here. And I just love seeing Fun. He, he's one of the uh, best uh, fuses at the highest level. He understands the value they can get out of inf an infinite amount of knuckle clusters, and he's just terrorizing the team below him. Oh, definitely. I think the best part about this is that I don't think Fuse is ever going to get banned this tournament. So he can use Fuse the whole tournament yeah, if he wants I, I, to. He might be. He might be. I think people want to see more Fuse. Oh my gosh. Ooh. And, and the, the Horizon Gravity Lift Battle is going knocked. in. Noob King goes down and it's only fun. It's only is fun. left and he's just going crazy with the wingman. Tap straight down. This and out. We got back. Backline left on this team. We got Backline versus I believe this is girls team. Oh my gosh. And Vax on is that a girl wins? <laughs> wow. Dude, that, that, I mean, they just lined it up uh, for girls team. The, all the other teams were fighting. They said, okay, we'll take this one for free. They were in the perfect position. And I think that they're going to be scary this whole tournament. Although they're using our meta picks. And I think it's going to be time to choose which legends are we going to be voting off now? I, I think it's Seer is if I'm... It's here so, Valk. I don't know. I have the I have the numbers. Are you ready to hear which legend was the most it on used me. legend? On me. The most used legend that game. Yes. Was Valkyrie with 18 whole picks. <sighs> Valkyrie. Goodbye. 18? Yeah. Well, when we come back from the break, we're gonna tell you which which legends will be fully banned and which legends which legends you can vote on. But just know, yeah, it's gonna be pretty wild to see the shakeup of the meta. We'll be wow. right back. Wow, what an epic first round. Welcome back, everybody, to the MacDown. It's I'm your host, Macro, with, of course, none other than the beautiful Boom Razzle. Thank you, Macro. I mean, I am shocked at just how top-heavy some of this uh, leaderboard is looking. I mean, Team Girl and Team Noob King are seemingly running away with it uh, after game one. This is the tournament standings as they stand. Team Draynilla coming in third place right now. We got Seagull, Moose, his and hers. And then after that, it looks like it's just like a tie for seventh place. There's still so many teams that can gain some ground and just jump right back into the top five. Oh, 100%. And just because you're in the first place standings right now doesn't mean you'll stay there. You can easily gain 15 points 20 points in the next following round and make zero points the following round who knows exactly. right that's the crazy part about battle royales the randomness the uh, rng but let's check out which legends were banned the legends that were banned by usage was valkyrie valkyrie was used 18 times last round and then we voted on seer newcastle and horizon and surprisingly to no one surprising to nobody seer was voted people <laughs> exactly. were tired of seer seer is out valkyrie and seer are no longer allowed to be played so the the pros and the captains that are playing right now will no longer be using them. So what legend do you expect to be seeing here, Boom? Ooh, I mean, that's going to be a really difficult question to answer because I want to say Gibraltar, but at the same time, I have a feeling we're about to see like 20 Maggies running around. <laughs> um, and, and she is now a hard counter for Gibraltar. So honestly, I mean, we're still going to be seeing Caustic. We're still going to be seeing this Newcastle-Watson combo. I mean, that's guaranteed, but I, I mean, there could be some picks out of left field. I love that fun is our lone fuse for all the Knuckle Cluster fans. You're going to be wanting to cheer for uh, that's... What team is fun on? Is he on Dre? Dre's team? Team's on fun. Yeah, Dre Nilla's team. And <sighs> okay. speaking, of, and now we're, I speak English, I promise. We're starting right now. <laughs> they are in the legend selection. We are seeing what they are picking. I think we're going to see a ton of Watson, actually. I didn't really get to tell you what I thought the pick was. Watson, Newcastles, and Cossack. That's the three, top three, I think, are going to be picked right now. We are yep. seeing a little bit of Bloodhound action in here. New King and Enoch, you know, since Seer is gone, people want oh that scan. God. I didn't even think about that. because Just because Bloodhound wasn't used last round doesn't mean Bloodhound wouldn't be useful in the meta. Oh, this, we're seeing a couple this, Ashes as well. <laughs> this is wow. hilarious. It's like, what year is this? There are so many bloodhounds. This is so cute. Oh my gosh. It reminds me of days when Snipe Down was on TSM. Oh my gosh. Oh it, my it's, God. Just, it's just funny how you take away Seer. Uh, bloodhound just becomes the de facto uh, best scan character. That is hilarious. There's like, a, there's like a dozen hounds in this lobby. That's great. I wouldn't even be surprised if, if Bloodhound is banned by usage next round, <laughs> which is so funny because Bloodhound had no usage last round. That's yeah. the craziest part about this whole tournament. I'm already loving this structure more than I thought I would. Something that both of us didn't even expect because we were, t we were thinking so inside the box in terms of legend picks. We we're basing right. it off of what we knew from the previous round. Yeah. And um, the thing about the... So there's a relationship here between... Uh, Bloodhound and Seer. There's a comparison to be made. 
is a lot of people kind of wrote off Seer until Furia picked him uh, leading into this last ALGS, and then, you know, the, the Seer pick rate just exploded. Bloodhound makes the individual better, whereas Seer makes the team better. That's the way that it was explained. Um, I, I believe it was a Hal stream that I was watching that he was explaining that. And I just think that's so interesting to think about that you're mostly just whoever you want to be great, you're going to put them on Bloodhound. And I think this is a great choice from Team Girl. This is a uh, uh, Klain. If any of you aren't familiar, Klain is insane. In the membrane. In this game. <laughs> Klain, oh, whoa, got bars there, boom. <laughs> yeah, we're definitely going to be seeing a lot of Bloodhound action. Girls still opting to use the Watson. Watson did help them win the whole game. And that was what we were talking about. There were some legends that even though they weren't the most played legend, nor even up for ban, they weren't even up for a ban, Watson is going to be seeing a lot of play this time around. Um, and also a Mad Maggie. I think people, I think this team is expecting Gibraltars to be coming in as well. I think yeah, it's a very smart meta pick there. Yeah, does this team mesh? I, I mean, they're in first place, so, I mean, who am I to judge? But honestly, I'm, I'm trying to wonder what the strategy is. They kind of have one foot into aggression and then one foot into defense. Usually seeing a Watson, I feel like you're going to pair it with the Newcastle. And then foot in my mouth, here's team his and hers with the exact same comp. <laughs> And now yeah. we're checking out Team Dre running of course, pure fun. aggression. Pure aggression. I love that he's going to be on Fuse all evening. This this team this team composition right here is literally, if I see someone get knocked in my kill feed that is nearby us, you are going to die. This yeah. is literally what this team comp is. You got the ultimate from Drainilla's Horizon. You got the ultimate from Fun FPS's Fuse. And you have the ultimate from Zira's Mad Maggie. It's insane how much aggression there is here. Yeah. And the thing about this team with Dre, Fun, and Zara Tricky, I mean, Dre is so good at this game. He likes to downplay it as the self-proclaimed thickest man on Twitch, but he is nuts. And it, whenever he's in a tournament, he has so much success because he is uh, honestly hitting above his weight class as far as the uh, content creator uh, denomination is, is uh, concerned. Okay, we also have, I have some, one thing we gotta announce to you guys just real quick, it's, it's an unfortunate thing that happened. Uh, I believe Bronzy's team, uh, yeah, Vax, Vaxlon accidentally picked Valkyrie on accident. Oh, so, okay. So if, you, so if you see a Valkyrie, just know that they are not allowed to use any of their abilities. Um, so some people are probably gonna be pissed off about this. We didn't implement a rule. Next time anyone does this though, next time anybody uh, does this, we're gonna have them jump off the map. So you gotta make sure, make sure that you don't pick the wrong legends here. This is the only thing we have going on here. Vaxlon gets a little bit of a slide here, but they cannot use any of their abilities. However, in the future, you will just jump off the map, okay? So those of you in the chat and those of you in the audience watching, if you see a Valkyrie, that Valkyrie is the equivalent of a dummy. See, that's kind of a flex. Choosing a character that's banned and not using abilities you're basically using a vanilla legend you're saying i don't need abilities i just got aim baby so i'm actually very curious to see uh, how this team does uh that's vaxalon that uh, ended up choosing valkyrie by mistake that's too bad that is too bad but honestly that is a scary guy and he's going to be effective even without abilities abilities are overrated yeah, I think if I hopefully Vaxlon's team, I mean, I mean, it's New King's team, which they were with the second place team right and now. And it looks um, like I, we might have a little bit of action here. They don't have it on Heartbeat because Seer is banned, but on the Bloodhound scan, this is Tifa Jess versus Team Staycation. And the sparks are flying. Duplex only on white armor is opting to throw his uh, bubble down. Well, the Horizon all goes down, but there's no nade follow up, and they're going to be able to play around. They ate the bubble. Is that Staycation with the even 8 that recently got buffed? Oh my god! Oh my god, Sage is completely melting! Tifa's, oh Jesse's team just got two-thirds of their team is out of this competition. Is it gonna be oh it? Is it gonna be god. it? Designful able to Design, pick up Designful, a knock on Reptar. If, if anybody's able to uh, 2v1 no. is Designful, but I mean, there's just too much pressure coming in with Duplex and Staycation. You know, Macro, I gotta believe when Staycation uh, picked up that car, I, I hope that there was a conversation about him plugging in the roller. That, that looked like roller staycation right there, and I love it. That guy no, that has aim assist did. in his veins. That definitely did look like roller staycation right there. That was incredible to see. We got Big E's team here with Rambro and We The People running Caustic Horizon. And, oh, Bloodhound. Moose has already been, I didn't even realize, Moose has already yeah, been knocked and completely out of the game at this point. Enoch and Cody just trying to recover here. I don't think they're even going to be able to recover that banner, so it's going to essentially just be a 2v3 constantly fighting in here. They're, are they going to go in? 
they they might want to go in i mean who's this team that's uh sharing their upstairs i believe that's his and hers hodsick and rambo uh in the upstairs and you do not want this team above you but they seem content to uh hold their position they're just going to be watsoning up so i i don't think we're going to be seeing a uh, a fight transpiring here which is lucky for team moose uh that rambo somehow with the bloodhound scan didn't pick up that this is a duo otherwise i gotta believe that they would be chasing them out of this building and they have vacated they've completely vacated they're gonna find some uh some friendlier pastures here folks okay so we're definitely gonna see see a little bit of action coming here rambo is definitely pushing in oh oh uh, able to sorry, get a huge oh, get knocked. is hot gonna get knocked here no hot oh my god there's so many nades coming kid. through Okay, so that much was, damage. That was really dicey for them. If they would have uh, gotten the equalizer there, that could have all come apart. <laughs> it is so strange seeing this many Bloodhound scans constantly being used. It feels like we're playing <laughs> ALGS Season 10. It's awesome. Yep. It's a throwback. We love to see it. And I kind of miss it. Like, it's kind of more balanced than, like, just a permanent heartbeat. I kind of resent. I think a lot of people resent just how strong and omnipresent Seer is. Uh, it's cool seeing the snapshot with, with, with Bloodhound coming through. I love it. Okay, getting the scan in. They see that they're all over. They're not in the building anymore. This building is now officially his and hers. Able to fight him off. Were they able to get a knock? Un unable to get a knock there. His and hers was able to get a duff of damage in. Hotsick able to get a knock on Cody, though. Cody is officially no now downed. Cody is out. They just have, it's just a lone rat underneath the building. Yeah, you cannot I mean, rat in this meta. Yeah. Enoch is out. Rambo able to get the kill. That just was like that. never going to work. And that's just a tough position. I mean, Team Moose, they're just going to have to uh, circle back and be like, you know what? We're going to get him next game. That, that's, I mean, nothing you could do right there. That's so tough. Super tough. We're going to see a lot of black and white this entire game, too, with a lot of these Bloodhound ultimates. Team That's just true. holding up That's these true. buildings. It looks like this entire round is ending towards the tree. A lot of interesting spaces here, interesting buildings, and weird, weird, weird terrain. Speaking of which, we got Big E with a caustic team, and of course, Horizon, everyone running Bloodhound, just gassing up this little edge out here just to see what they can do. They have this entire building completely gassed up. This is a, a team that we haven't gotten to shine a spotlight on too much uh, yet. Um, I really like Team Big E. They've, they've got, he's got We the People and Rambro. Um, they are two ranked grinders, um, and, and they're really comfortable playing together. I've fought We the People and Rambro a couple times, and they are just oppressive uh, in their aggression. And I hope that we get to see them pushing some teams and not just sitting inside of a house. Uh, and this is Clara and Zach Mazer and Hakuna. Uh, yeah, looking looking like. They're in a bit of trouble underneath that bridge as they're going to be uh, right next to a Team Seagull. Yeah, Team Seagull's team is right above them. And unfortunately, thankfully, Team Seagull's team doesn't actually have a Bloodhound to be able to scan them. So they may know that they may or may not even know that they're underneath them right now. Yeah. And stay, Team Staycation, wait, did they change their comp? Did they have a Gibby last time? They had a Gibby yeah. last time. This, is, this, this yeah. is actually the same exact comp they had last time, actually. Uh, I think the only difference is that Reptar was, I think, on Valkyrie before. Gotcha, gotcha. Good call. Yeah, wow, this is team defense right here. This is the thick squad, if I've ever seen it. Oh my gosh. Ooh, speaking of the thick squad, we got Tuxbird, Monsoon, <laughs> and Enmego whipping out not only the Ash, but the Loba. Oh man, Newcastle, of course, being the thickest part of this entire team composition. Yep, yep. I, I'm actually, the synergy of this doesn't, I don't understand it, but I, I hope it works for them. They have a very strong power position here. The height above near tree, very few teams are going to be able to contest them, especially with that new castle wall blocking the only choke point. Yep. And you just drop down stick. What the the strategy is going to be, you get into center zone, you put up that new castle wall, you drop stick and you just steal armors as everybody else is dying around you. So they're just going to get so much value eventually out of that Loba stick. It's going to be scary girls team playing like as if it's season three of apex legends look at those watson fences all over the train <laughs> tunnel some watson being the kind of the sleeper pick of this tournament so far because i don't think watson is used enough to get banned but still yep. going to be used enough to get wins oh my gosh and i'm just looking at the squads left looking at the number of people alive dude macro i feel like we haven't been talking about too many fights yet because this zone is so damn crowded now. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> is trying to find a place here. Oh my gosh. The, it's going to be too much to keep track of pretty soon as the kill feed is going to look like a freaking Christmas tree. Oh my gosh. 
Oh yeah, this basically this these buildings being multiply completely occupied. However, I noticed the teams that have Watson and Caustic have been able to secure not just their section of the building, but the entire building. It's just mm -hmm. too scary to try to push a team with these fences and with these traps. No, you're exactly right. Oh man. I mean everybody's just kind of found their spot and they're just waiting. You're not seeing what you usually see at this part, and that is Everybody using the Valkyrie rotation. It's just so free. So right now, it's all these edge teams that I'm worried about. You can see your map in the upper left. And these edge teams, they would have had a Valkyrie that would have guaranteed their ability to escape. And now, I mean, I, I think it's just mutually dis assured destruction. As we oh. see Team Clara uh, fighting, as we see Team Noob King fighting, it, this, is, this is the part where all the edge teams bump into each other with nowhere to go since they don't have Valkyrie. Yeah, I don't want to watch New King scene because he makes shame backslon. Shame, <laughs> shame, 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 backslon. One job. So backslon, as you guys know, will not be using their abilities. He feels bad about it, um, but we should have probably, we probably could have reset it. Our fault. Don't worry about it, backslon. But everyone else, if you see a Val, please kill him. And <laughs> okay, let's let's go check in on, on that team that's fighting. I think Seagull's team was fighting. Uh, I believe Claire's team over near the bridge area. Oh, we got Sore Mommy, aka Mick Jeans, right underneath, right underneath New King's team. I think they're just about to be ready to fight each other once the zone ends up closing, because they're not going to be in the zone when the zone closes, or a part of it will be in the zone. Oh, and like that, Zendim's team, Princess's team, are they going to try to push through those Watson fences? I don't think so. I think they're really not in the mood to. Oh, they I mean, broke they're, one they're, Watson they're, fence. They're looking around. I feel like they like are like, hello, is anybody home? As I think that since this is already so edged, that team's just going to allow them to have the height here. But no, they actually walked up without the heartbeat. They're just getting Wait, the three shots gonna in the world. Oh, I thought there was a team up here. I thought New King's team was still up here. They're not. They so they're able to just walk vacated. Up here. They decided they wanted to take the building adjacent to here since it was unoccupied. It's just so funny watching people without heartbeat. Uh, Sears would just be sitting in their buildings, right clicking, looking for any hazard. But instead, we're seeing people just getting completely caught off guard uh, because they can't just be scanning permanently with Bloodhound. Uh, and it looks like uh, Team Princess almost got the pick there, but they weren't able to completely get the knock. So they're just going to be content to sit on the roof as fun FPS just rains down hell with the Knuckle Clusters. Oh, man. We're definitely going to see Bloodhound banned this next round. Bloodhound I, is literally exactly. on every team. This is incredible to see. The moment Seer leaves, Bloodhound comes right yep. back in. Is it, is it at all possible to go back to Team Dre? I, I mean, they have to fight. There's three teams yeah, at Omni, Edge, and, and there's only two rooms. The New King's team is actually fighting it. Dre Nilla just was able to fight as well. Yup, yup. And this is this is this team that's so good at fighting. Uh, this is Dre Nilla's team, and they just wipe out Team Princess on the roof. I mean, there's just actually, so Actually, Daz's team was able to get that final kill. It Dude, looks I like. love a cheeky pick if Daz was able to grab that one. Yeah, I think they were able to get that little little cheeky pick right there. Drainilla oh, but Drainilla is out, but they... full eliminated. He did, he did. That's brutal. And Bronzy's That's brutal. out. Let's go. I'm so happy Bronzy's up because Bronzy was the Valkyrie. <laughs> oh That's what you get for not. Wait, I thought it was Vaxlon. Was it Vaxlon? Oh, it was a Vaxlon. I think it's Vaxlon. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> but you still like so biased. I was like, jeez. I was like, Bronzy did nothing wrong. Bronzy's cool. Bronzy's cool. <laughs> And I'm oh, so glad man. Browns is out because I hate him. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> McJean's team was able to get this entire area to themselves again. They were able to steal it from essentially the uh, the other team that was occupying it before. Dreadilla might be able to get respawned here because they did get a mobile respawn beacon, but they have to get that banner, and that banner is in kind of a precarious spot. Now, wait a minute, wait a minute. Are Mobies in? I thought this was tournament settings. Um... Yeah, Mo Mobius are in. I mean, there's Mobius the in. The it's, it's, yeah, so heat shields are not in. Mobile, yeah, mobile heat shields are not in. Heat got shields you, are not got in. you. Mobius so are the in. only thing in. All right, so we're not going to be seeing anybody putting uh, the heat shield on Echo and living in the zone uh, for the entirety not. of the tournament. That's good. That's Fun. good. Fun. Oh, and the oh, ash ready for goes them. in. Fun's already oh been knocked. Oh my God! They realized they were a duo, but, but oh they my got God! The they got a massive. Oh my God! Oh my God! He's disgusting. And he got the gold knockdown, so he can res. He get the free res here. And who oh, is no. this Watson that he's fighting? That's Ooh. Mick Jean. I mean, McGean. I don't know about this matchup for Mick Jean and Zara Tricky. I don't. I think she's gonna be uh, content to drop back down and hopefully stabilize with the rest of her team. No, he's gonna push. No, they could not get the timer. They couldn't get the banner on time. Oh, oh and Dre is not coming out. back. There's Mick Jean Caesar trying to get the Ooh, res. I mean, Mick Jean team is out. Can't do that around Zaire Tricky. I mean, he hears you rezzing, and he, he's just so aggressive. 
Oh my god, what an absolute wow. flex. And here we join uh, Nicewig, who's fighting for his life. This is Drumbun and a, and a Prizzy, who are knocked right now. And uh, Nicewig is trying to make something happen with his favorite pick, Octrain. Nice shots coming down. It looks like he's trying to keep the pressure up. It might be a 1v1 that Nicewig finds himself in, and he is lethal. It, it does look like girls' team was able to get, get eliminate average Aiden's team, while Fierce Stunny's team was able to get rid of Klain on girls' side. Girls' yep. team's not looking like they're going to... They they're might be able to stabilize. Yep, and they, uh, trade, also able they to trade stabilize. reses right there. I believe uh, the team that Wig was fighting got a res off, and he was able to get the res on uh, a Prizzy. This is two-thirds of Team Sheesh! Uh, oh, man. Missing, missing Timmy, and uh, these two are really comfortable competing together, and I think they're still going to be lethal as a duo, but they run into another team. A lot of teams just hiding left and right in these corners. Every look, every nook and cranny has a rat. And who, who is this character that ends up going down? Hot That's Hansik. Hansik. His and hers team is eliminated. Another whole team is underneath here as well. A Prizzy just trying to heal, and Wig just trying to heal here. I'm trying to take a look at the map. It looks like above Nicewig, that's Staycation's team that they were fighting. It looks like Staycation's team is still full power. Uh, we go underneath the bridge. Oh my gosh, this is just the bridge of despair as shots are coming down from Furious Stunny. Can Stunny secure this? It's a 1v2 right now, I believe. Yeah, against Seagull. Oh, I don't know. My Seagull's kind of nuts. Cracked on the sticks. Not even yep. on the sticks. That's on the mouse and keyboard right there. Seagull's team with Ice Shiny able to secure that final kill on Stunny, eliminating Team Zebra. And they're, full, they're still full strength, bro. I mean, yeah. they're gonna. I, do, where do you think they're going? Are they going under the bridge or over the bridge? I think they're gonna stay under the bridge with Watson. Yeah. I think like they have. They don't have. They don't have to even fight the other team that's up there. Watson, and they have this new really strong power position. Yeah. Oh my gosh. It feels so cozy in here with this new castle wall. Usually it's so exposed. I kind of love this for them. Yeah, I'm, I think we might see Newcastle voted out of this next one. Who? What do you think, though? No, honestly, I mean, he, maybe I don't. I know she's everybody's favorite. But maybe also Watson. It's kind of the mm. it's kind of the pair. That's yeah. like look at all the fences. It's funny, right? As you say that, it's just like a field <laughs> of electrical fences. <laughs> the fences definitely are. But gonna, I could I can absolutely see Newcastle being removed. Staycation team is actually in a very strong power position here. They have the high ground. They have to leave that high ground when the when the ring closes. But yeah, they are three able up. Yeah, they're three up, and Wig's team is right underneath them. I think they know this, and they want, may want to push them eventually. Speaking of which, Big E's team hiding behind a tiny little rock. I think that's all they got. And, I mean, Big E's team has got to be in the worst position right now. And, and there's a Gibby all coming down on them to pressure them. They're walking into Jenks. Do they even know that Jenks is in here? They have a fight on their hands as the bubbles go down. Let's see how the trades go. Prince the Omega getting a fight. I mean, this is just the part where... There's just too much to keep track of. James Fearless triple red with his team. Just oh, shooting Prince Omega down going upon in. everyone. He's got the Horizon. Prince Omega is normally a Valk main, but able to whip out the Horizon. Horizon's also his secondary favorite main. Gonna go in really aggressively. Daz playing his favorite character, which is Watson. Everyone here is playing essentially their favorite Daz character. Watson. And the thing is, is they control the height right now. I mean, I think that they're in the strongest position right now with, with Daz. As fun FPS is just trying to squeeze out one more placement point, maybe one more kill. Um, oh, it's, man. It's going to be too hard to really close the gap on them. Teams will just be exposing themselves too much as fun is just blending into the background, just trying not to create too much threat. To avoid I wonder detection. if they can even see that laser sight. I would never have thought about the visual mechanics of the I laser sight. I don't think you can. I don't think you can. And I okay, mean, fun is unpushable. He's just kind of hanging out there. Like, everybody knows he's there, but nobody can do anything about it. Underrated for retrospect team is still going in. But they're not looking at him. They're just shooting right over Fun's head. They're completely ignoring him. He's just not a big enough threat. There's so many things going on for these teams to keep track of. Oh, oh, oh no! Retro got locked at the door. Retro got locked out. He got locked out. Get the key next time. You got to make sure you have a copy <laughs> of that key. Unfortunate. <laughs> Are they able to finish? I don't think they were able to finish Retro. Duplex Speaking of which, Duplex gets, gets knocked by Ram, Rambro. So much chaos happening here, and I still think Daz's team has the position to win this. They are I, in such I think a they power are. spot. I think they are. Reptar's team is just getting pressured in the back. The moment that uh, Newcastle wall goes down, I mean, it's just going to be GG's against uh, Retrospect's team. But somehow it gets the armor swap in front of Nano, but that was just simply not enough. It's still 3v1 for Reptar. Nano's team looking to go on the offensive. They've got swaps. They've got Crypto! Yep, I was going to say, they had a crypt this whole time. They're the only team with crypto. I wonder if this EMP is going to make a big push here, because the EMP can completely counter Watson, which is seeming to be the big thing that's stopping him from pushing. Watson and Caustics, left and right. It looks like, it looks like he's out of EMP right now. Rambo's out! No, nice try, Rambo. And now we're just left with four 
teams. Oh my gosh, it was just so crowded. We need to watch that team up top. We need to watch that team up top right now. Yeah, James yeah. Fearless, Prince the Omega, and Daz. That team has the strongest position here. They are definitely the team to look out for, and I think they're the team that I think is going to win this if they play it correctly. Yep, yep. I mean, they're just going to bait these bottom two teams to fight. I mean, it's still it's nice wig even with a duo. I mean, it doesn't get more dominant than just looking down and third party and everybody else. I think Aprizzi's I mean, gonna try to stick the res here because the nice wig's got knocked, but Aprizzi could potentially get this res. I don't like think it's gonna happen though. Too fast, and Nano is just thinking, nope, I want that KP, my friend. Prince just looking for KP as well. Someone gets a stick on 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 <laughs> COG Nano. Oh my gosh! I mean, they're gonna drop, put down the Horizon alts, and they're gonna clean up. I think. Hopefully, we can avoid a Caster's curse situation. But I mean, this has oh. just gotta seem too easy. Who just came for up top? Uh, okay, never mind. Didn't happen. Dad's is down. Drive, drop down. Is the well, first one. Did he come? That he was dropping. No, he goes he down. I don't think he combed it. I don't think he combed what, it. What are you doing? That was kind of a throw, Daz. Oh, oh no! My God. And now retrospect team is the champion. <laughs> the they had the power curse. play. Caster's curse is real, Boom. Man, Caster's curse slipped. is real. I think he slipped. Somebody greased up the railing or something. There was like a banana slip. Retrospect team pulled off the impossible. Well played. You are not How does this happen? Boom. We got to talk about something that's, that you're not going to expect Oof. here. Oof. You're not going to expect this, but maybe you are going to expect this. <laughs> the most played legend last oh round gosh. was Horizon. So really? Horizon is automatically banned. It's Horizon gotta be by the, one. More than numbers. It's, more than numbers. No, no. It was actually, let me tell you the order. I'm not gonna tell you the numbers, I'll tell you the order. Okay. Horizon was the most played, followed by Watson, Newcastle, then Bloodhound. Wow. So oh we saw gosh. Bloodhound. We saw maybe we just kinda maybe because Bloodhound's more obvious when you see the scans constantly, but we didn't realize over sure. here it was kind of insane. So that means that we're gonna have a poll coming up right now on my stream. Uh, we're going to have a poll coming up, and that poll is going to be choosing you, the fans, got to vote between Watson, Newcastle, and Bloodhound. Which of these legends do you not want to see oh, anymore for the okay, rest okay. of this tournament? Let's get that poll going, and let's go to a, a, little, a quick little break, and we'll be right back with the action. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another beautiful round. That round was intense. That round was crazy. We saw Daz's team almost clutch it up, then jumped off with what appears to be a little too early before his team was even ready. And then yeah. Retrospect just swooped in, getting that dub. So let's I'm so, boom. Yeah, oh, I'm so glad, so glad to see Team Retrospect. I am Boom Razzle. Uh, a little bit of a caster's curse at the end there. Daz, did you slip? Please get back to us. Um, let's go break down the, uh, the scores, the leaderboard. Yeah, so leaderboard right now, we got Team Girl and Team Retrospect now tied it for first place with 25 points, followed by Team Drainilla with 21. Team New King, even though they didn't score anything, still in top four. Seagull's team, 17. Daz's team could have been in the first place there if they got that dub, but they're still top six. They're in the money. They're doing some great work here. A lot of teams able to move up this time around. A lot of teams that didn't get any points last time have points, and a lot of teams that had points last time didn't really go up at all. But you know what did go up at all? Let's check out these banned legends, because one legend in particular, <laughs> Horizon, is now banned. You're not going up anymore and bloodhound who wasn't even used in the first round is banned <laughs> horizon was banned by usage and bloodhound was banned by the vote yep yep i mean so so what does that mean crypto is going to be really high pick rate i mean we're running out of scan legends here macro i mean we got seer is number one look we're gonna be scooping the bottom of the barrel people are gonna be like well i guess uh uh fuses ultimate kind of scans people i mean we're getting desperate for information i think we're gonna see a lot of people uh walked up on and shocked now that they have no more free wall hacks anymore that should also cause some maybe slower pushes here because at least with mm. the blood on scan you could see oh they're reviving oh there's only two of them live you know we're gonna see maybe a lot more ratting we're gonna see yeah. a lot more surviving and maybe we'll see a lot more fuse the other underrated scan legend as well he's yeah, a really good point is kind of nuts but i wouldn't be surprised if we saw a bit of crypto gibby is still here caustic is still here wraith is still here these are legends that have in the past been number one really high picked characters in algs so I, I do expect to see a little bit more of a slower more of a grindy pace and of course none other than watson who was up for a ban last uh last time as well Yep, yep. Oh my gosh. I very, very briefly in the bottom left hand part of the screen, Staycation clicked. He must have clicked on Vantage. I can picture the way I can picture the way the conversation went out where he goes, Y'all y'all mind if I play uh play Vantage? Riptar goes, No. Okay, cool. Well, <laughs> I didn't even think about castle. this. 
<laughs> Mr. Mr. Rev, uh, Revtain himself, you Boomerazzle, I'm do you think we're going to see a little bit of Revenant later in this in this entire tournament? I mean, surely. Eventually, uh for rotational purposes, Octane is going to be great. Uh and as the the tournament continues, some of the teams near the bottom, they're going to start getting desperate. They're going to be thinking, "All right, we're either going to like have a blowout game or we get you know we accept our fate in last place so the bottom part of the teams are going to be like hey i want a piece of the prize pool uh let's start going crazy let's pick revtain on world's edge and just run it down the middle so i think for rotations i mean I i'm shocked that i didn't really feel the missing of valkyrie i'm sure the edge teams felt it again but here's praying for a northern zone do you notice how game one i said south there was a south bias I'm so curious where this is going to pull, I swear. If it's south again, I'm calling okay. Mr. Respawn and putting in a complaint. So hopefully no teams... I mean, I'm getting a little bit of a... a maybe some people are telling me that the... Some people chose Bloodhound on accident or, or whatnot. But hopefully we don't oh. see anyone do that. Already a fight happening at Lava Siphon. Uh, not Lava Siphon, I'm so sorry. What's this place? A thermal station. Let's already go a fight going on. Enoch is out. <laughs> Enoch has already been knocked out of the entire race here. Zebra's team... And they're still here. They're kind of stuck Ooh. up here. Cody and Moose are stuck in this height up here. But ironically, one of the easiest ways to get up there is with Horizon. Uh, and without Horizon, I mean, there's nothing that you could do with this person in this crow's nest, but they are in a really bad position. Great shots coming out from Moose. Um, Team Moose and Team Zebra, I wonder if this was a uh, deliberate landing because they are actually almost tied for 10th in the leaderboards they might have seen an opportunity to uh get an easy pick and maybe catch a team off guard i'm, I'm surprised Potentially. cody is still stuck up there waiting for maybe his jump pad to come up before he can leave it's they a little really too want dangerous. that banner where yeah. where is that banner i mean they're the on the grab. floor enoch's banner is already on the bottom <sighs> and they're, floor right they're just there. hanging out inside they're just they're content to watch that banner spot. oh and this is where loba comes in to uh into play this is so strong, just literally hanging out there, looting. Well, able to get the banner! Uh, everybody else Cody's able to get the banner! And Cody's making a run for it. Is he able to make it over to the gondola and get out of here? Oh my god. Oh my god. Cody on the Octane was not expecting that. They didn't even push. They didn't really even push. They, huh. they, they were content with the... They got the KP. Maybe they didn't want to... They were scared because, you know, in the end of the day, they're still really good players. One clip, yeah, you can true. be knocked. It's a 2v2. It's a yeah, little too dangerous. They don't know. They didn't know exactly. Uh, they didn't know exactly where Moose was there. You know. Here, here's a team that I uh, really want to see succeed. We've got zero love Givens team uh, currently chilling with zero points, and they're trying to get on the board. I, I've been in this position before, and you start doubting yourself. You start thinking, oh, we got to do something different. But I, I hope that they're able to find out a solution for their success because uh, this is a very cracked team. Um, and one that's been underperforming for sure, as far as their potential is concerned. I do love this team composition that they have. They got the Newcastle, which is you know strong for strategic uh, positioning uh, in terms of like setting up on a big high ground. But on top of that, they got the Pathfinder and the Crypto. The Crypto Ooh. obviously going to be used for the Look scans. At Look at this macro. Oh, okay, we're going into a fight. Actually, we're going into a fight. We want to see Team Clara. Uh, and looks like they, this is them uh, after escaping a fight. Uh, Hakuna Ooh. goes down right at the base of the of the redeploy, so they might uh, wait a little bit and um, just go grab banner. That is too bad. We're gonna see a lot of a banner camping. I feel like this time around because without mm -hmm. much information, without using like Bloodhound, without Sears, you're not really gonna know where these teams are. You can, so banner camping might be the play here. Ooh. But already we got zero finding out. I don't know which team is up there. Can't oh. even tell. I can see names across the map, but I can't see names right in front of me. What a team is fighting up there? Zara's one. He's one. And this is Taxi kind of team. There it is. Average Eden's team is hiding up there. Yeah, there it is. That, these are two really good teams. And I think they're going to figure that out, that both teams are talented. And they might they might let up the gas. Do you notice this, uh, Macro? Zara and Fun have struck some sort of agreement and swapped fuse. They're both... Uh, it's probably two of the most well-known Fuse enjoyers. I just think it's hilarious that <laughs> he said, Hey, give me a chance. I want to use the Knuckle Cluster. And Zara Tricky is now on Fuse for this team. Yeah, he wanted to give his little brother a chance to use the controller. I get it. We've <laughs> exactly. all been there. Usually you we, just leave it unplugged. <laughs> no, he gave him a plugged controller. That's love. <laughs> oh, Drainilla using uh, his ultimate, but just kind of getting caught in the open there. I'm kind dude, of a I questionable... He, I don't think he can make this cross. And he's just... They're just stuck. I mean, that's Taxi on the charge rifle. Um movement god but it lethal with the charge rifle and that's just making this field uncrossable as they're occupying a really awkward area sarah barely makes it in but i gotta believe they're gonna drop down the elevator shaft and, and catch him while he's alone oh there it is
Is and Taxi able to get a knock on Zara there you go. with the flat line right there? Are they going to try to secure this kill though? Maybe, maybe not. Not, not, not clear. They're staying, they're staying in the high ground. They understand the importance of the high ground here. Aiden's going to stay on the low ground, just trying to wait for them to maybe push. There it yeah. is. Aiden may be able to secure the kill. There it is. The one point on the board for average Aiden's team. Oh, but Bane gets sniped down there. Dude, yeah, that's tough. That's tough. They're, they're on rotation. They don't even want to be here right now. Neither both the round is closing. It's going to be hitting hard. Um, is, this is turning into just an absolute quagmire without Valkyrie. I mean, this is the result. I mean, how many how many octanes have we seen so far? Everybody's seen a good just amount. They're, they're pulling straws for like ways to get around the map. Valkyrie is just so insane. This, this, back in my day, in <laughs> season four, this, or no season two, uh, this is how we got around with a good old fashioned jump pad. The, the biggest thing that I'm noticing about the difference between the last two rounds is that in this round, with 20 whole squads are still alive and the first round's about to be fully closed. The last time we already had two squads or three squads dead. But speak of the devil, Zednim's team over here fighting for their life out here. Prince has already been eliminated from the turn from this round until they can get that banner. Has her name always been Pimpsess? I think it's always been Princess, but Princess is a great is a great alternative. I think this might be her alter ego for the tournament, uh, and an indication of things to come. She's about to pimp all over this team. <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh, but no. New King, uh, who is one of our top performing teams so far, is running into trouble. Ooh, New King able to get a knock on Zednim. But, but they pulled it off. They, they pulled, pulled it off. It I think they're gonna they're gonna get the reset right here. And that here. is the and first squad out of this round. Pink Princess out in twentieth. Are you serious? That was and the there, first team? And a third party happening though. They can't even, give, they can't even resurrect Noob King if they tried. No, and in the kill feed, I Retrospect see Team, team. Stake, Staycation go. And this is Retrospect walking up fresh off a victory royale with cheese. Uh, and they're happy to uh, just lock down this building. Chat, for the love of God, get Caustic out of here. I'm sick of seeing <laughs> these gas traps. What is happening? I mean, I knew Mackerel was a uh, Caustic enjoyer. So does that mean your chat is too? Come on, man. I mean, I am a Caustic boy. And if the people want to vote, they, if people in the game want to vote a mob, like, I, I wouldn't mind it, to be honest. Yep, but yeah. We'll probably end up seeing Caustic for another round, though, honestly, because by usage, it looks like we're going to see either Crypto, Newcastle, or even Octane. You know, like Macro, maybe in the top there. It, it's too bad. Um, in uh, the ALGS broadcast, I don't know if there's something special that they have access to, but they show what each character has as far as med kits. And it shows all healing in their inventory, right? And yeah. I would love to show lo some love to the No Cell gang if that ended up happening today. <laughs> but unfortunately, I don't think we're going to be able to tell if anybody is a member. I would like but to say got... one thing. Team New King has been eliminated in the background there. They were pushed by oh. Retrospect's team there. It's unfortunate. And in the background, James Fearless's team. New I saw Prince the Omega and James Fearless' team That's getting knocked. That's a trade. Knocked. That's a trade, though. Wait. No. Those knocks in the kill feed are, like, on three different teams. Zaz's team is able to secure it up. Prince's team is, is still alive. They're still finding someone else, though, in the meantime. Dude, Prince it looks like Omega, he's, scene. he's just getting the call to stall, stall, stall. James Fearless ends up getting the full elimination. Drumbum's going and in! Drumbum pushes in! Gets the knock! That's Ooh. it! Daz's team is out! Drumbum's team able to successfully eliminate Daz's team. Unfortunate. Look at this team composition. What? Uh, Wraith, <laughs> Bangalore, and wait, wait, bang Octane. And <laughs> Octane. See, this is, this is the team of like three independently talented people. Those are three legends that aren't necessarily like a coherent part of the team, but they're individually so strong that that's just like their plan is they're all going to be great at, uh, at doing things solo. And things are oh, kind of quiet over here for uh, for Sora, Big E, and we the people looking to play uh, Edge. They don't want to get an acclimatizer yet. Um, but you know what we, we didn't talk about earlier was Ash. Um, she's kind of taking the place of the... Let's move our team from point A to point B. Everybody is trying to solve that puzzle right now. The the lack of Valk is being felt, and people are using uh, Pathfinder, Maggie, and especially Ash. We might see a lot of Ashes. Octane. I, would, I do got to give mad props to my players that are playing right now. It appears nobody made an accidental mistake picking the wrong person. Mm. Thank you so much. You guys are yeah. the greatest. You got to recognize uh, real. You got to recognize real. It's unfortunate this team, Dranilla's team, already lost Zira, so they're they're gonna have to go in with the two v three. I've seen two v threes win entire ALGSs, so Absolutely. we gotta see how this ends up going up for them. But Drumbum's team, seeming like they finally got their groove together, getting some early on picks, still all three of them alive. Earlier, remember Drumbum was dead for the entirety of last round. Yep. Or Nice yep. Wig and Aprizi ended up getting top four though, with uh, just surviving. Macro, I got a question. Is this an NA only? Tournament? Yeah, this isn't this is NA only with maybe like an exception. Of yeah, like I, saw, I saw taxi, but dude, I'm thinking this is big enough success. 
we're gonna have to have the EU SmackDown Macdown. You know what I'm saying? Don't and shots, me, are, big and boy. shots are coming down. <laughs> Shots are coming down. The Louvre. <laughs> and welcome back. We are at the, the Mona Lisa coming at you with more Apex action. Dude, this I'll is going to be tough. This is round two zone. So basically, Team Big E, their fourth man is the zone. Just by being 20 feet closer to ring, they're able to put a ton of pressure on Team Tuxbird. And they just got to go around. I mean, you got to re respect the zone. If we can vote to ban zone, I would. <laughs> you can't respect the zone if you're in a vote of mile. Think about what you just said there. <laughs> anyway, we got We the People out here trying to just survive with their team. Team Tuxbird and Team We the People. Uh, Tuxbird and Big E's team having to duke it out in the ring here. They're going to be stuck out here for a couple minutes if they don't get out of here. God, and that just stings. Just watching their health bar. I mean, look, at look they, they have already detached. Like, player behavior has changed so much. Teams don't want to fight in the zone anymore because it's just awful for everyone. It's a lose-lose. Because then you end up with situations like this. Team his and hers are just going to clean you up. So it looks like they're chasing right here. Okay, Hot Sick was actually trying to... Oh, the, the gets a knock. Two, gets two oh, knocks. Hot Sick showing that he's not, just the, he's not just a coach. He is a player and someone a threat to be like a force to be reckoned with in general in this competition. Absolutely. But now they're finding themselves in a really difficult situation. They're probably coming to Andrew right now. Put down freaking uh, caustic traps. Can we actually, would you mind if you do a listening right now? Can we go over to team his and hers as a listening? Oh yeah, we gotta listen to hear what they're saying. I gotta hear what they're saying. They TP'd that fighting. They TP'd away. I think they TP'd away. Oh no, I just took the fucking TP. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> Wait, it actually was five head, maybe. Maybe? Oh, five head play. You the accidental TP might have <laughs> them live that, that, that here. That looks like my game play back. Down. Okay, that looks really <laughs> <laughs> They were able Wait. to at least maybe complete. Rambo could potentially right here for a higher placement, but let's go check in on some of the action that's happening yep. in the yep. center ring. And let us know. That was an underutilized uh, technical strategy that we're going to be trying to optimize a little bit more um, of the listening. So let us know if there's a team that you guys really want to hear. I'm thinking next game, I want I want to hear some of those Drake Nilla comms. Oh, 100%. You know those guys are having a good time. Going to be sussy on the comms. Oh, oh Big pick Rambro on Zebra. That's what I'm talking about. This guy is disgusting. One more hit. Just needs one more hit to land. Oh, no. 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 Dude, Fury and look, that big E team is completely eliminated. Wow, they were so close. I think one more hit would have been all it took. You know, I Ooh. met Sora Big E at uh, the ALGS Championships. You know, he wasn't as big as I was hoping. Ah, oh, he's a little small. We'll come, maybe call him Small E at this point. <laughs> <laughs> big E, I'm kidding. I love you. <laughs> anyway, we, as you see, for once here, a Prizzy, nice weekend drum bomb. All three of them successfully make it to the final ring. They've been struggling <laughs> for a while. About the thing that I'm so <laughs> yeah, I'm still laughing about that, dude. It. <laughs> no, that's, ooh, calm, cool, composure. I am a professional. <laughs> Okay, let's check in on Moose's team. Remember in the early, early Enoch got eliminated early on at uh, Thermal Station, but they were able to recover. And now look oh, at them. They're already that, close to the ring. They're the actually playing the, they're playing the outskirts of the ring. That, that ping coming down, that is a lone drain Nilla. I think he Ooh, has. Oh, no, it was Average Aiden. That was Average Aiden that just bled out right there. Oh, no, no, but I was saying that Cody's team is really, that's, that's Dre that they're oh. shooting at. Oh, my God. These guys are so good. What the hell was that? That is Dre that they are chasing into zone. Dre is a solo right now. He has lost fun. He has lost Sarah Tricky. He's going to try to rat it out. But without scan characters, I mean, if he can get center zone, Dre could have a, a real opportunity. But he's nah, going design through. Season. Oh, God. Oh, no. With the Craver. No. That is a bad feeling. I think he just let him live. He like, what? I respect you, Dre. I'm going to let you live. They saw the sussy boy. They wanted to let him have a good time. Oh, my gosh. They must have heard his cheeks and knew it was him. Design allowed him to live. That's a really interesting decision. I mean, he's got 11 bullets on the crab, uh, but he might want to keep using them. Oh, my God. Maggie Man, is annoying. Maggie is a menace. Also, Beryl, if you see here, this is Team Tifa. Beryl Host had to jump off the map a long time ago because they accidentally played Bloodhound. It happens, but we made the rules. It's super. It's not too hard to follow. You're playing for $5,000, so you got to just pay attention to who's banned. Ooh, he really wants that. Mind you, Designful is a controller player, and he's not getting aim assist on the Kraber. This is O natural, baby, but this is 3v2 against a really scary team, and this just goes to show how much you got to respect design. Uh, this guy is holding his own in a 2v3. I don't think they and even he's realize it's a 2v3. a little bit on the ropes. Huge damage just came through from uh, Enoch, I think that was. 
Oh, and Tifa's this, done. This He's going to try to rat. This is where design... The, pros are so good at knowing when a, a situation is unwinnable uh, that... He was fighting to the end, but at the end, you, you just got to detach right there. And he's, he's just not even choosing, not even choosing to heal yeah, there because it's too he, much yeah. noise. Yeah, he's just a wallflower now. He's just going to try to blend in to his environment. Yo, let's get some rat jams in the chat. Some rat jams in the <laughs> chat right now. We got a couple rats here and there because remember, there are 27 players alive and 11 squads left. Right? That means there's five whole players that are already completely eliminated from this game. We should see, we, there's like at least two or three rats. Strainilla's one of them. Designful is also one of yep. them. It's going intense. Cody's team though, really, really kind of in a strong power position here. They're playing the outskirts of the zone and they want to slowly push in and maybe take a couple fights here and there because they do have like the high ground. They want to hold the high ground for as long as possible. You did that math that fast in your head? Uh, Kind of, why? No, I mean, that's just quick math, man. That's incredible. <laughs> quick maths, quick maths, bro. <laughs> I was like, I was like holding up my fingers. I was like, I, yeah, he's right, sir. <laughs> All right. And it look, dude, I mean, Team Moose, they, although they're dominating from this height, this is, this is just like this temporary advantage. This is about to uh, crumple uh, beneath their feet as they walk in and try to take space. Speaking they, of they which, need Moose. This wall. You see, Moose got a kill with the riot drill, and it ends. They Moose's team ends up killing. Oh my God! Team Zebra's team is completely eliminated there. Damn, Getting rid so of Screwy and Tifa. Tifa. Wow. And who's that as the kill leader? A Prizzy with a three Prizzy kills. with the kill leader. Yep. Oh my oh, God! Cody with the crab. This kid has so much talent. He's actually a really, really young. He's a ranked grinder. Um, and I, I thought that he took a, a little bit of a step back from uh, trying to compete in order to focus on IRL things, but it's so cool to see him participating in this tournament. A hundred percent. I think it's just nice seeing friends just participate yes, uh, and together yes. and they end up doing very well against a lot of pros and even some of these content creators. I know that I didn't label them as pros, but if they wanted to compete, they probably could. Exactly, exactly. You, uh, you fight Staycation uh, on the roller and you tell me how that feels. <laughs> these, these these players got thousands of hours under their belts, um, and I just love floating around. We got a little bit of sky cam action right now, just to sh show how crowded it is. I'm uh, loving and Retrospect's team's position right here. They're playing the outskirts. They decided uh, they opt to not play the inside of the building. It's not ending on the building. It's ending kind of a mixture of the outside and inside. Mm -hmm. I think this is a really smart play on them because they have yeah, the caustic, they, they the, have the crypto. Yeah, they got the two levels uh, that they're working with, and they're allowed to do this because they got caustic. I mean, even though the gas isn't as scary as it might have been, uh, you know, a couple seasons ago, it's still something that just deters players. And they're occupying, dude, they got a two flat in there. It's nicer than my apartment. Oh, man, but there's only, I don't see a single bathroom in there, boom. Well, for sure, for sure. We got to use the outhouse. Speaking of which, speaking of bathrooms, I think a lot of players are about to get shitted on here because <laughs> this ring is going to keep closing in slowly and slowly. <laughs> they're going to be forced to fight each other. Look at that. The Mad Night Ultimate comes out, then the bubble. You see Vize oh, making a really smart nice play there. timing. Understanding that Mad Maggie is a counter. Right there, Vize able to get a knock on Cody. Cody has been knocked. Oh, sorry, Wavy able to get a knock on Cody. Jenks still alive here. No, gets knocked by, the, oh, by a charge God. rifle from they Zero. Shot him, shot him across the map. Gosh, oh, that's you annoying. Oh, see that. and oh, the Dark Star, Dark Star just for insult. The zone Dude, is completely zone demolishing. Is, is destroying them. Zero love given in the kill feed. He's charge rifling people. They are dominating. Uh, wait, where is Zero? They, they got to be on the rocks or somewhere right here. Down, he I think they're on the rocks. Menace. Jenks team completely Jenks eliminated, eliminated there. eliminated eliminated. Dude, look at 100 Thieves, or sorry, sorry, look at 100 Thieves, Nicewig, Aprizi, Drumbum. They are now in God spot. There mm -hmm. was a time when the roof was exposed when more of the map was available, and now they just get to look down and, and just cause terror on this lobby. Uh, and and I, th yeah. I, think th I think they're going to get a high placement. I think they're going to get a lot of eliminations. We're going to see Drumbum, uh, his team, skyrocket in the standings after this performance. Oh, oh my man. gosh. I completely just... understand that. You can, you, I just think that the position is going to be so strong for them. They have so much mobility in their team that they can individually jump in and out of. Oh, Seagull's oh. team in a really tough spot with the oh. Mad Mag. He's going to kill them. And like that, Nano able to secure all the kills on Team Seagull. Team Seagull's team is completely out. They yep. only, I think this entire inside is theirs now. Or they're sharing it with his and hers on the bottom yep. floor. His and hers is on yep. the bottom floor. Okay. Yeah, and don't, for, don't forget about Retro on that second floor. So th this building is so crowded. It could be one of these outside teams that ends up having the, the position advantage. Okay, so team oh. going and pushing. Oh, gosh, I think that's a little bit of a self-grief on the Maggie tactical. As they just try to stabilize in this corner, they end up uh, cleaning up 
Uh, Mamba's team, this is Girl, Clay, and Phonyhead. They find the rare moment of calm One of them still alive. The okay, there it is. Zero Love Given team finally out there. Out in sixth place, though. They finally got points on the board. Nice wig, though. Just raining Hellfire from the God Spot. Call this team Team God Spot. Oh, my God. This what a power nasty. position. They're going to have this position for a, almost until the end of the entire round is over. All these other teams that are fighting, including his and hers, who's fighting right now, they're going to have to deal with this menace that is a Prizzy oh. up top with a Krabby Patty. Where's SpongeBob Dude. when you need him? Dude, missing with the Krabby Patty. Secret formula, but he has two more patties to go. Break on the corner, and here it goes. Looks like that Octane was able to pull off a battery right in the nick of time. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Ooh, every team I love is. that. I love this proactive portal right there. They're going to be playing around this till the end of the game. They're just going to go back and forth, back and forth. Well, a Prizzy is throwing down the Bangalore ult. Uh, and nice week. I mean, he's just frying. I don't think there's too much value. They're gonna they're gonna be getting out of the uh, jump pad yet. And they just drop. Comes the Prizzy. coordinated drop on the retro team, but he a little uncoordinated retro, retro. Able to defend. Drum bumps even eliminated. They had the god spot, but they but the caustic was just too much. Dude, I'm so proud of retro. This is so cool to see. That was an absolutely insane team that they just repelled not even a knock that drum bumps he was able to get out and nano is able to port away leaving dimmy kind of exposed uh and retro it's just it's just trying to figure it out now nano is the strongest member of the team currently we need oh, retro man. to hit a battery he chooses to climb up he's so aggressive he gets knocked for it and this is the final team team girl, girl again, again! Two out of three games so far secured by Team Girl, who still has the Watson. Watson's still not banned from this tournament. And I don't even think Watson was a top four pick. Oh, no. So Watson, we're going to see Watson the entirety of this tournament. Oh, my gosh. This is oh, just man. French domination here. That, my, I, oh, my. They're going to have so many points. They're in first place, and they just won. 100%. I, that, that is although, crazy. Although, although I, Retro's I think, team I think, was in second place, so they're doing like they're, this is it's between Retro's team and Girls' team right now who are securing yeah. back to back points. Speaking of points, though, let's get to the point here, ladies and gentlemen. The the legend that was picked the most, and we'll talk about all this, was none other than Newcastle. So we will no longer be seeing Newcastle the rest of this wow. tournament. I know, I know. We love seeing Newcastle. So, Newcastle is awesome. Gibraltar? Is he allowed okay. to come out now and so, uh, have his time in the spotlight once again? I know he was... Oh. Well, we'll let you know, Boom, because <laughs> the next three legends that you're going to vote on, you in the chat get to vote on these next three legends. The vote is between Mad Maggie, Ash, and crypto so let me know which of those three legends you don't want to see if mad maggie goes we'll see gibby that's all i'm gonna say we haven't seen much gibby if mad maggie goes there's nothing stopping gibby okay Costa can't keep getting away with it. if bro. ash goes Costa i mean can't keep getting away with it. <laughs> Costa, Costa keeps getting away with it watson keeps getting away with it let's figure out who is going to be banned after we come back from this break so stay tuned and welcome back i'm boom razzle joined by my co-host macro uh Newcastle and uh speaking of Newcastle hot off the press he has been banned alongside what? crypto get out of here you get out oh my god I was wearing that I thought people I was excited to keep playing Newcastle there I didn't know he was banned no. I'm, I'm not no. trying to break the rules here my bad it's over it's my over bad, my bad oh oof, 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 oof. okay well speaking of which now we got six whole legends banned we got six whole legends bloodhound we got crypto horizon valkyrie seer newcastle all of which are banned these players know that if they pick any of these legends it's against the rules so don't do yep. that yep. you gotta, gotta, jump, you gotta jump off the map you gotta jump off the map if you do that but in the meantime i'm excited to see what they end up using caustic somehow makes it all the way to round four gibby <laughs> makes it all the way to round four wraith makes it all the way to round four these are just characters i expected to may not may, maybe not last as long watson who has actually won three whole games already <laughs> how are how is watson still in this tournament also i mean how are we not seeing vantage yet i mean she's she's the new legend oh and here's the leaderboard let's check out the standings we got team girl who has just been dominating so consistent i believe that they won what was it two games already yeah, yeah game one and game three uh, girls doing insane retrospect winning game two and they are just so consistent they're always at the top drum bum uh had a breakout game there they had so many eliminations even though i, I think they got like fifth place or something they were just frying the lobby dre nilla moose new king i mean all of these teams over in the 20s it's just so close but as you can see you just win one game you're at the top so all oh, of these yeah. teams at the bottom there's still hope this is far from over we're at the halfway point we're going to storm point everybody's let's hit, let's favorite right map. now oh yeah it's everyone's favorite map i mean the laughter is just you because you love it so much right <laughs> I'm laughing with joy macro i Pure just joy can't. 
<laughs> pure joy. I'm expecting to see a little bit of a meta shakeup as well because Stormpoint does warrant some different types of characters to be used. Uh, I don't know if Watson is as strong in Stormpoint. Maybe we'll mm -hmm. end up seeing a little bit more of uh, definitely. See, definitely, we will see a little bit more caustic. I'm like guaranteeing we're going to see a little bit more caustic here. Definitely some Gibby as well because rotating throughout Stormpoint is just so scary and so dangerous. And hopefully, and <laughs> nobody picks the wrong legend this time. And maybe we'll see some vantage. I'm seeing some vantages here left and yep, right. Yep, I'm seeing staycation. On Vantage, I'm seeing Vize on Vantage, Anmu, oh, a fun. They finally dropped Fuse, uh, thinking that he's not going to have success on uh, Storm Point. Oh my God, there's going to be a couple. So, so what does this mean? I guess now that Seer, Bloodhound, and now Octane is the last scan character available. Did you say Van Octane Vantage? is the last? Oh, wait, no, I said Crypto, Crypto, jeez. I can't keep track of these picks, man. No, and Crypto's out, so there's no scanning yep, anymore. Exactly. The only scan you have is Fuse Ultimate and Vantage. Vantage with the snipe here and there. And yep. that's why I think some people were opting to use Vantage this time around. There's going to be a little bit of a different change of scenery. Got the beach front. We got the beautiful greens everywhere. This map, I think for competitive levels like this, is actually a ton of fun. Um, so those of you that are like, you know, hating on Stormpoint, we were kind of memeing. I think it's a great time at yes. the highest level. Let's see how it ends up playing out and see if there's anybody that's going to be fighting on drop here. No, all jokes aside, I mean, maybe my least favorite pub map. I mean, this map is built for this. Um, and by this, I mean specifically tournaments in which legends are banned. Um, no, I... Storm Point is just so large, there's room to breathe, um, and you actually get fair fights where, where people aren't landing on top of each other, you would think. But here we have uh, a team with Zach Mazer uh, landing really close with two other teams. Um, things are going to be really chaotic over there at oh, Launchpad. Yeah, yeah Launchpad looking pretty chaotic, and I think Launchpad is also one of the places that... I think it was Team Princess and Team Zach Mazer's team, which is uh, Claire's and another team. team. There's so many people in this zip code right now. Oh, man. It's just way too many people out here, man. It seems like the housing prices out here might just be a little bit affordable. It makes sense why you'd want to move to this side of town. Mm. For sure, for sure. I mean, oh, and already Zendem really... getting taken some shots. Ooh, but with the Wraith pick, able to just kind of queue out of there. Or so we thought. Uh, he spoke a little too soon there. <laughs> Thankfully, able to get out of there. We the people um, was I think the one that was able to shoot him from the top with the hemlock. Little to no ammo here. They're kind of on a pretty. They don't have a good. They don't really have good loot here. Honestly, sharing no, this I, area with another team is not easy. I think the strat is we the people covers for his two teammates. Well, they loot the fingers and they come up with a strategy to either they get great stuff. They're going to be pushing and maybe if not, they're they're going to be getting out of here. Um, because they know a lot of people are around them. Two teams also landed uh, over here at Barometer. Is that what this is called? I haven't played this map in a minute. At Barometer. Mm -hmm. um, over with Team Moose. But it looks like they uh, chose their separate sides. Yeah, it was Team Zero Love Given. Barometer is so big. There's three whole base areas that you can use. We've seen them before when you play uh, Control, the, the LTM game mode. Mm. It's pretty easy to share this with at least two other teams. But eventually, one of them is going to have to leave the area. I mean, Barometer tends to be an area that doesn't that stays in the zone for multiple rounds. No, you're right. But I I, I feel like Team Zero Love Given is going to fight Team Moose. They're, they're already doing damage to each other. I wonder if they're split, though. I'm, I'm not seeing where all the teammates are. Somebody might get caught out here. Got some pings left and right here. Able yep. to get a Mozambique, a Mozambique with hammer points. I've been seeing a lot of Mozambique with hammer points this tournament. A little bit of an underrated pick for the weapons. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's so strong. It's so strong right now. Speaking of strong, we the people's team, Big E, we the people in Rambro with purple armors already walking out. Gonna take that jump pad just to get into a much better position. Maybe a little tap strafe action. But they're rotating uh, right into uh, Tuxbird. Oh, they're going. No. They're seemingly going into a trap. Let's see what happens. They're gonna use Rambro's using ultimate air. Is that ultimate oh. gonna save the team? Oh God, I think they're gonna miss the ultimate and just land right into him. A little bit of a dangerous push there, honestly. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm kind of scared. <laughs> I don't. I don't think they knew what they were getting into. But this team, Tuxbert, is on triple white right now. If if that uh, team Moose finds that out, honestly, that might uh, incentivize them to be aggressive. But it looks like they're able to separate from now as as uh, they go into uh, Jurassic Park. Yeah, I mean, the fact that they didn't get hit there, because if they got hit, they would have saw white armor, and then that would have immediately sparked this predator reaction where they are the prey. Let's go here. Yep. Yep. It looks like things are. Be quiet right now. Um, not too many fights happening yet. 
I spoke too soon. That's Always team Princess. speaking too soon. <laughs> <laughs> Princess's is... team. No, able wait, to no, knock, no, 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 duplex, able to knock. No, excuse Enoch. me, this is staycation with Moose. Enoch is out again. Enoch, this is the second time early on where Enoch gets eliminated. I don't I think if he's underestimating teams or if he's just getting caught out. I think he's getting caught out mostly anything. Bangalore seems like that character that is a get out of jail free card, but with so many different characters left and right. I mean, they both have a knock each right now, so it's still possible Ooh. for them to win. But they got to, ooh. But Duplex is not a guy that you want to show your back to. Moose able to get the knock on, knock on Duplex, and that leaves, I think, Reptar to try to clean it up. Oh, able to get pushed back. Wait, did he burn himself to, to death? Oh, no tank. way! No. Mad Maggie is the self destruction character of a lifetime. Dude, what I was haven't that? seen. I don't know, but that's so unfortunate. They the died door. out early. The door was like cracked open, and just because that it was like a tiny little hair that the door was open, I think because of that, it it touched him. That is so unfortunate, but just like that, Team Moose is eliminated in twentieth. That, 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 that is our third. That is our fourth place team that just went out first. By the way, you got to look at that kill feed. Vize able to kill not just with anything, with Sniper's Mark on Tifa oh, Jesse. That's sick. Oh that my god, so seeing sick. a little bit of vantage already in this this early on is amazing. We're seeing another Fuse that is not on Fun FPS's team. Designful <laughs> rocking Fuse. I'm loving what we're seeing here. The double Australians. They were able to get the banner for Tifa. Maybe they can get a res here. Wait, are, are, do you think they're RPing right now? Maybe Verhol's <laughs> able to get the knock. Dude, on Jinx. Just insane. This is a little roller on roller action right there. Oh man. Oh, Jinx no. has oh, got to be no. feeling bad about that one. Design for another dominant roller player. Uh, able to get wave, and I mean, now it's just a foregone and conclusion. Cleaning up. Jenks' team out. Moose's team out. But They're actually the competing party. against each other. And Rambu able to and sleep, completely clean up. Wait, not yet. Designful's still alive. Yep, Designful's out of here, but I don't think he's going to get very far with those little legs. No mobility on Fusey. This is insane to me that the, so many players were nearby each other here, this early on. Like I said, last game, like before the first round even closed, most teams are still alive. Seeing yep. them all die like that is insane. I wonder if some of these teams are thinking, let's just push shots more because they're not going to know that we're coming. So third parties are even stronger now without Bloodhound, without Seer. Um, you're getting zero information. So when somebody shows up, it's almost too late already. Oh my god, Fun FPS gets two kills in the, in the kill cam with the Sniper's Mark. Fun, of course, not playing Fuse again. No one's actually playing Fuse on this team, on Team Dre. But Fun, fun is on get, Vantage. Yeah, on Vantage, getting two knocks. They just need to finish this last kill right here. I think this is Claire's team. Oh, Pimp says Princess's team. Gosh, They're finding in the zone here. Fun is just so effective at getting those armor swaps off of his knocks and just giving his team an advantage. But the zone is like kind of stealing the show right here. All three of them taking a second, uh, taking their foot off the gas. Uh, also designed full knockdown in the kill feed. Rambo was able to track him down. Um, and it looks like, did they let the third get away? I, I think, I think the they zone might've. forced them. Uh, oh, no, he's right there. Oh, there I don't think they're going to get third. too far. Wait. Oh, died to the zone. Oh. <laughs> Dre Mill is the kill leader with three because of the zone. Team Clara it, is now out. I thought for sure that was the petty thing, and he just disconnected. <laughs> I thought he just dashboarded, <laughs> pulled his ethernet, but no, that was the zone. Um, that honestly hits harder than anything else right now. Brutal. Look at the... Look at these positions people have. These power positions on the rocks. I actually end up. I really do love this final ring zone over here that pulls towards this ship. The mm -hmm. ship is this such an fun. underrated area. Never fought on. Yeah, this is a great position. But nobody. Uh, I'm surprised there's not as many Gibbies. We're seeing so many Maggies. Where I thought we'd be seeing Gibbies. I wonder. We're if definitely going to see one of them the go away. Pick. Yeah. One of them's going to go away. Either Maggie or Gibby. Because the reason why Gibby's not being used is the fear of Maggie. The fear of exactly. your bubble, like exactly. you resing mid-fight, I don't know where a ball comes in, kills you. It's just not fair. I mean, it is fair. Gibby's a, kind of a broken character, but, you know. I just never Maddie. expected that Respawn was going to give one character a specific foil to another. I thought that was one of their, like, their, like sacred do-nots. But I don't think I've ever seen a situation where it's just like, oh, yeah, this character just dunks on this one. Um, but they decided to do it because they thought they said enough is enough. I mean, Gibby's been at the top for seasons. Um, really since like season four. Oh, definitely. What team is there up on the ship? Is, it is that a team or a rat? What is that? Who's, who's up there on the, sh on the ship up there? I'm not there? sure. I've, I've seen Nicewig play that position before with team uh, Zhish. Um, I'm not sure who that is. Rambo content uh, in their little place. I mean, Watson's getting picked so much too. 
I She's mean, I've been seeing a good amount of Watsons, but not enough for it's going to be banned. Siegel able to get a knock on Rambro. Yeah, they're trading. The yeah, that is a trade right there. <laughs> that oh. ride drill is so annoying. <laughs> oh, man. That ride drill is going to cause a riot in my chat. <laughs> Dude, kill, kill the, the drill. drill. Kill, the, kill drill. the drill. Oh, man. His and hers team is looking really solid. They've always got good positioning. It's just yeah. up to them to make sure they can actually get to the top five players. It seems like whenever they do get pushed, they, that's when they fall apart a little bit. Rambo is Ram, Rambo is amazing at this game, but there's only so much he can do if they're if there's not coordinated if these pushes come. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I bet all those uh, man the scans are feeling feeling real dumb right now. <laughs> Hundred things yeah. Maxlon eliminates Team Big E. Big E, Big E is already out of the game now. Mamba able to knock New King. Hold up, there's action happening, and New King's right there in the rocks. In the rocks, I can't believe it. We're missing it. It's all good, though. <laughs> there it is. There. Oh, there's Noob. <laughs> there it is. They're, they're, they're running all... away. They're on their heels. Mama gets the full elimination on New King. I wonder if they're going to push that. I, I doubt they'd push that, but like, because they're in the zone, but it's such a dangerous spot for them to be in. Meanwhile, you got a nice wig and drum bum and a Prizzy in a strong position here, slow rotating into the side. I don't think they realize how many people are on this side of the map, though. Yeah, it is really crowded over there, but looks like for now, I don't think anybody's going to see uh, Drum Bum's team coming over there. So a lot of room as I look over at that uh, mini-map for, for people to uh, be rotated in, but not a lot of places for people to hang out with over at ship. Speaking of the ship, Sore Mommy up here up top with Anmu and Voltic. Just trying to secure a solid position here. This is definitely one of the god spots if, if the ring pulls towards the top of the ship. Oh my gosh, a ton of action going on right now over at the uh, jump tower over with Mamba and Zero Love Given. That looks like an awful place to be hanging out with. I'm seeing all sorts of different colored names uh, over in the uh, the mini map as it is just so crowded over on the right side. But it looks like things are, once you get to the ship early, you're just kind of hanging out. In the background, Daz's team gets eliminated early in 14 places. Oh my with Tuxper team also getting eliminated by Team Girl. Oh, having like, to fight like they here. came back for Noob King. Such a they, bold uh, move. They need the Noob. Free the Noob. It's not going to happen, though. Not if they're fighting like this. Bronzy. Oh, oh, Bronzy and like that, Noob King is eliminated. Avali able to secure it. But wait, can Zero Love Given's team survive this? I don't know. It's I, just think they're, I think they're getting walked up on right now. Oh, Seagull's team wants this so bad. They want the KP. They want this kill. Able to get it, it seems Zero Love Given is eliminated after killing off New King's team. The third parties are outlandish with no, I mean, I, I act like there's no bubble or anything, but they're choosing not to use bubble. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, Gibby's gonna end up being in the final game just because people are seemingly ignoring him there. I, I don't know, I don't know why. I don't know if it's ignoring or just gotta, fear of Mad Maggie. Maggie. It's gotta I think be it's Maggie. fear. Just with to Mad Maggie lose existing. the value on the bubble. Wow, they really did a number on uh just how it feels to pick Gibraltar, knowing that at any time it can all just be taken away from you. <gasps> and it looks on the like... ship. There's two teams on top of the ship, two teams fighting on top of the ship, and one team inside the ship. There's also think, Team Rambo's team inside. Is it a solo? No, Zebra? I think it might be. No, it's, it's not. It's a full team on top of the left side of the ship. Staycation team on top of the right side of the ship. Okay. And another team inside the ship as well. I didn't know if the guy inside was a uh, solo we, because we're missing. We're missing two players. We're, yeah, we're missing we may, two players. We probably have one solo or like maybe one or two people gone, but we'll see what happens. I've, I, was, I wanted to ask you a question, I mean, not ask you a question, more yeah, yeah. lay down a statement for you. A lot of 3030 repeaters. I've been seeing a lot of 3030 mm -hmm. repeaters this time around. Skull Piercer being added to 3030 is kind of what makes it really, really strong. Same with Boosted Loader. I mean, this thing reloads fast and it hits like a truck. Um, and you're just getting a ton of value with it. It's like how the Wingman used to be, where, you know, 60 stacks of heavy. And it looks like uh, Retro's team is being super aggressive. One of the lone Gibraltar teams. Um, I'm shocked that Sore Mommy isn't trying to grief them with her ball, they're getting, but, they're getting but now they're getting she pinched. Mixed. That's Mixed staycation. Getting pinched by staycation in the back, Retro in the front. Oh my lord, this is such a strange position to be in. It looks they're like Retro's able to take down stairs, uh, but Reptar, Duplex, and Staycation are still laying on the pressure um, on this height team. It looks like things are all good inside the ship. I, I think they're content to hang out here for a little bit. They're grateful for the space. Oh, yeah. They, they just want this so bad right now. Nano's team, Retrospect, Nano, and them just going to play, play inside the hole. Yep. I laughed preemptively. I'm sorry. I'm immature. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're right. They're dominating that hole right now. Oh, yeah. Definitely want to stay there for a bit. 
Uh, let's. Those are the main teams that we're focusing on, all the teams on the ship, but the ship is not going to be where it ends, I think. I usually, the ring tends to pull more towards, like, the buildings and the open side mm -hmm. near the buildings. But yep. we'll have to see, because the ring, you know, ring, the ring's finicky. It's random. It does it's whatever it wants to do. Yep, yep. A finicky mistress. Oh, Ooh, definitely. Now, now we can see uh, Team Seagull getting really good shots. It is just like a DMR meta with the scout, uh, the 30-30. Um, vantage. I mean, you're just going to be shot at from far away. And with these wide open spaces, people are just farming and getting these red armors. Oh, definitely. That's the thing we've been noticing. By at least round three, everybody has at least purples. No one usually has blues. Um, the teams that have blues are the ones that are not engaging at all. But if you're engaging at all in this game, red armors galore for your team. Yep. yep. Yeah, and Seagull's we'll team think. is definitely one of the most aggressive teams in this entire composition. Yeah, they have, a, they have a tough rotation in front of them, though. They are way outside of zone, and uh, they got no Valk to get in there. One of the Legends banned. Um, big action going down in this building as average Aiden team. Briefly, I thought Taxi got knocked. They're one of the only teams playing Revenant, which is great. They're actually doing Revtain. Oh, Revtain with a little bit of that uh, option with using the portal with, with Revenant. Before, we've seen the portal and Revenant work kind of well, but that's also just an, another alternative option for rotating, you know, because Octane's jump pad is a little more of a loud, aggressive rotating option, where the portal a little bit safer. Yep, yep. That is too bad to lose Vayne, though. He is a crackhead player, and uh, their team's going to be feeling his absence. But nobody knows. There's no scans. There's no, there's no Bloodhound that's going to let anybody know that this is a duo. Um, so they're going to be oh. holding it down here for a little while. Yeah, and girls team is in a strong, powerful position with their team composition as well. But not, so much, not, for, not so much for Dre Nilla's team. They need to rotate now, and I just don't know if there's any space for them. Oh, oh duplex, duplex and some catching Mick. sword, not, sword, sword mommy sleeping. They go for the res oh, as Voltic, the res is, Voltic is holding, but I... I I don't believe they're going to capitalize on this. No? Oh, I'm surprised nobody pushed there. They don't have a Gibby. They don't have a Newcastle. There's nothing they can really do to really secure that res. They could have naded it. They could have done a lot of things there. You talk about I guess God Duplex spot. is that much of a... I mean, Duplex is such a threat with a God Spot. This is the God Spot. This, I believe this half of the ship is better than the other half that Mick is on. Yep. And Reptar, this is just par for the course for him. He's been playing Loba so much in ranked. He, he sees value in her ultimate. Um, staycation, whiffing a little bit with the vantage, all you hate to see it. Um, but I like this comp. I mean, there's going to be jumping teams with duplex. And they're going to be kitted to the gills with uh, Loba. I'm scared we might end up seeing an Ash, <laughs> an Ash like in the top four. <laughs> <laughs> Ash was in top four last time. Luckily, nobody seemed to want to ban Ash. Nobody hates Ash. I get it. Um, Dre but... and Fun, I think, are the lone duo on their team. Oh, no, they're all three up. Do you mind if we go yeah. in for a uh, listen-in on Dre Nilla's team? I've been, I've yeah, been wanting to hear to their those comms. Dre comms. Let's listen to those Dre Nilla comms. There's a fight going on I want to see, what, I want to see what they're planning next. Team Dre Nilla. For first floor? I just never went for flesh. Why are they? Wait a minute. Can we hop Bro. over to their POV? Yeah, let's, let's listen to the POV. Watch out a little bit. Yeah. Watch out, watch out for your team over here. The yeah. They're on the balcony. Well, that's girls POV. All good. Girls, girls team actually fight, getting... Yeah, the remember, thing, they're, yeah. they're the ones in the front runners. If the girls team gets eliminated here early, that would be very terrible for them. It's all good. We were not able to see Dre, but that's okay because right now... That's all right. It's all the teams getting pushing in. Seagull is in Seagull is insane with that <laughs> oh push. My Lord. I told you they were aggressive and they're coming in so hot right now. Getting a kill on claim. I think girls the only one left on her team alive. Oh, but it is just so crowded. No, over Team here. Girls eliminated. I didn't even realize. Are you serious? Yeah, that yeah, was fun. fun. Was the, the, the final elimination on Girl. Uh, no, Shiny gets dude, caught, though. Shiny get caught outside. There's so many people on the outside shooting in the crossfire right there. So populated. Everybody's getting the best about Nobody knows where anybody is because there's, we're so used to playing with Seer, Bloodhound. There's nothing. Everybody just seems lost right now. Oh, no. Draenilla's team loses zero real quick, but they still get the banner. Meanwhile, Seagull's team is only stuck with their lone rat because they're able to get the knocks on both Seagull and uh, I want to say it was uh, Shiny. Yeah, I think it's all going down here, though. This next zone push, it's just such an awkward spot. It's out in the open. There's going to be so little cover. I, I think we're not going to make it to final Yanya zone. may be able to clutch this. Oh, 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 Dre with the no! <laughs> It's disgusting. Dre, they, they, oh, they trade no. eliminations. Both teams are eliminated the same. Like It was Dre's team first that got eliminated, then Seagull's team. That's insane. 
Oh my the gosh. Hole, inside the hole. Dude, retro. This is such an awful position. They're just trying to make the most of it. And they're, they're just playing like, a, like what scant cover they have. They're getting great damage and as, they, as they push out of this hole. They got to get out of here or else the zone is going to end up being, being the winner. Mano gets out first. Gets insane damage. Looks like that's going to be the zone. He's going to get out of zone. He's going to get out of zone. He's, he's just trying to get the limb. He goes down for it. He says, I'll take squats. my point. Oh Dude, my god. Voltic found a quiet spot. Looks like nobody has an angle for him. And, and Voltic in a top three situation. Just like that, there's, there's nobody left. Look team at Nick, how Team Stay, and Team Drum Bum. Of course, a Prizzy, Drum Bum, and Nice would kind of getting the group together. They really want to get on top of this leaderboard. And this is yeah. their chance to do it. They have a strong, strong position. Dude, zone, really one... zone even pulls towards them. Their last to move, they're calling in that mobile respawn for more cover. I mean, they're in a great position. The only thing not great about their position, the armor situation. Mm -hmm. um, but I don't know. The, this, these are two scary teams with Duplex, Reptar, Staycation versus a Prizzy, Nice Wig, and Drum Bum. And then... You got the rat, Voltic, hanging out in the background, waiting to grief and trying to draw as little attention as possible right now. I love this uh, situation. I think this is definitely one of those positions where even though they have blue armor, there's, this is where the individual skills going to come in the most. If they can land the most shots here, get the most pushes here, they could still win. But remember, staycation on, on the roller. Check out what they're range. doing right here. Check out what they're doing. They're feeding duplex. So look at this value. This is Loba at the highest level. They use Loba to grab alt accelerants. They fed them to duplex. And now they basically have their winning move. They needed something to play around, and it's duplex's port. He's going to move the team into position. And he's going to try to wrap up this fight uh, with Team Drum Bum as fast as possible. Hopefully getting the kill on Voltec ASAP. There comes the Bangler ultimate from Drum Bum's team. This is going to do a little bit of damage here. However, Voltec is in a terrible position, but might still be able to secure second place if, if they can move in smart. And here comes no. the port. There's the port. There's the port. Honestly, Voltex the port isn't close enough. The zone's so good for Drum Bum. And like that, Voltec's out. Slot top two teams here. Smoke comes out for the Prezi. A Prezi with the Digi threat and Smoke. Oh god, it's so hard to see anything Reptar. going on. Nice with getting good shots, but it's a 2v1 stake. No team staycation with the massive at the That's end. That's my boy. That's my boy. Staycation. Uh, oh Dude, my I, god. I'm so glad to see them finally pull off a win. They're one of the strongest teams in the lobby, and they finally are able to translate that into a win on our first game of Storm Point. Vantage you're, paid off. You're not going to believe this, Boom. You're not going to believe this. Oh boy. The most played legend for oh this past round oh was none other than Ash. So we will see Ash automatically banned for the rest of this tournament. Two more rounds to go. <laughs> you, the chat, you, my fans, everyone watching, you get a vote for the fall yep. for the next ban, and this ban is between Mad Maggie, Bangalore, and Vantage. So after we come back from Bangalore, the break, we'll let you know who, which of those get banned. Stay tuned and uh, let's keep going. This has been incredible. Yep. Yep. Welcome, Welcome back. back. I'm Macro. I'm Boom Razzle. And we're the we're the we're the bow string <laughs> we're boys. We're the bolo squad. <laughs> the we're bolo the bolo boys. Squad. That's that's what they'll call us, Macro. Don't call, please don't. <laughs> <laughs> please don't call us that. During the break, though, something crazy happened. It looked like I went to get water. It looked like Mad Maggie was going to be banned at the last second. I don't know which streamer pushed their people to come in here, but Vantage was banned instead. Vantage. So we got Ash banned for by usage, and Vantage is also out. So now Bloodhound, Crypto, Horizon, Valkyrie, Seer, Ash, Newcastle, and Vantage are all out. Mad Maggie lives another round. This has got to be a troll. This has got to be a troll. Van <laughs> was Vantage so? Impressive. I have a feeling that it was just one person who was just like, oh yeah, she's out. I got beef yeah. with Vantage. Oh yeah. And if we look at the standings though, the team that won last time was Staycation, their team was running both Vantage and Ash. So them losing that is going to be pretty, pretty sucky. However, Damn, Team Girl still point. stays on top with three points. Retrospect still holding the, the second place position with 50. Drum Bum in third place still, 36 points. However, Seagull's right behind, also tied with third place with 36 points and Staycation with 35 points in fifth place with a little bit of training on the back there just trying to come up, you know? Yep, yep. And it looks like it's definitely separated into like a top half bottom half but definitely we've, we've two games left and it's possible for somebody at the bottom to have a, a breakout moment and crack into the top do we know the breakdown for the prize winnings or is oh, that, yeah. we're not we, sure about that yet we do know the breakdown where are we, where are we trying where are we trying to get to at the so, end but, game so top six is is in the money uh that's based off of my math it's, i did a little okay. math here Let me, okay. i gotta go pull it up real quick first place 1500 second place gets 1200 dollars uh third place gets uh 
uh, it keeps going down like 900, then 600, then 300, then okay. 300. And then I have a little bonus thing for the person with the most kills at the end of this entire tournament. Uh, I don't know if we kept track of that. If we haven't, then don't worry about that bonus. Mm -hmm. But if we have kept track of that, they get a little bonus, the extra 200 to make it a full 5,000 flat. If we, But otherwise, let's check, it, let's check in with our players, picking up new team compositions, making sure they're not picking any of these weird picks and stuff. I'm seeing a little bit of Rampart action there with fun. Fun having a ton of fun here. This is like a freaking time capsule. There's so many wraiths and pathfinders. This is so cool. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I do have I mean, this gentleman's agreement to like just not play Caustic. <laughs> yeah, it looks like only a couple people are, are really giving Caustic a shot. I, I guess this map is a little bit more wide open than, uh, than World's Edge. A little bit less cover to be playing. Um, but Caustic is still going to be dominant. I'm just shocked that Caustic has somehow dodged becoming popular enough to be voted on, um, but unpopular enough. He's still making an impact on this tournament. Oh, definitely. And definitely this, this map has just been such a different dynamic as well. I, I was expecting to see a little bit more Caustic action, but I guess Caustic may not be as powerful in such an open area. Mm -hmm. And wait, Maggie, she wasn't even voted out. And she's... I, I feel like I barely saw any Maggie's in that list. Oh no, Maggie! Maggie definitely was at was in the top like seven most played characters at this point. Though the, it's really stretching out. Already a fight happening between average Aiden's team. Where? Oh, they almost got him. They're one health as they get away. No freaking way! That trident is just too strong. It's are just you, too are strong. Are you seeing this? They they're already being looked over. Average Aiden, do you see how he just crouched there? He heard a, a little twig break above him and realized that zero love given is breathing down his neck. There's a team above him on the quick rotation from Mill. Oh my god. If we see this zero love given's team here just trying to get a little bit of damage here. Only one of the demons has the purple armor. And charge rifles are just getting oh so used throughout the end of this thing right now. Jesus, Ava already has two Phoenix kicks uh, in her inventory, has to rip one of them uh, as Zero Love Givens team is opting to back off a little bit. They see that charge rifle and they say, no, thank you. Uh, let's go do this uh, IMC Armory hold. Um, this is going to be one of the only ways for people to rotate on this map. And then we the people in the same situation as last time. He finds himself on the height looking down on Chaos. It's Princess's team that is going to be the aggressor this time. And this is exactly what we expected, Macro. Um, there are... Uh, so many teams at the bottom who just heard you say top six gets coin. Seventh place, nothing. So they're saying, okay, then we're going to win or we're going to die trying. People are going Heck crazy. Yeah. This is a war zone. No, this is exactly what we wanted to see. I wanted to see action. I wanted to see people dying left and right. I wanted to see Gibby. Oh. And like that, Rambro knocking down Pim says, going for the oh, finisher. They know finisher. they're being watched. They know they're being watched. Send him to the Shadow Realm. Yugi, I don't want to see you ever again. <laughs> my grandfather's deck has no bad cards. Oh my god. Rambo <laughs> had all five pieces of Exodia right there. That was just too strong. Zenum now over here. Gonna either try to wrap the entire, the entire rest of this game, or maybe you can potentially get those banners. We'll have to see what happens here, though. I mean, there's no scans. Like, this is the time to, like, kind of rat close. You don't have to, like, run away as hard as you used to uh, with Seer. I mean... If he just finds a quiet corner, I mean, here. they're just going to have to flip over every rock to find him. And it looks like they're already de Yeah, um, I think Big E's one of those people that just like, you know, let them get his banners. Like, that's honestly, KP. Yeah, exactly. I think some people, I think a lesser person would want to camp banners. Big E's knows it's still all fun and games. Um, and it looks like looks like they're backing off a little bit. So hopefully we're able to see Rez come off for Team Princess. Uh, I'm right here, we're looking at the team leaders. The team, the, the kill leaders over here. The, not the kill leaders, the freaking score leaders. Girls team. Yep. Killing up some Prowlers, getting some of that armor up. The Prowlers, kind of an underrated piece here to get ammo, get some small heals, and also get your armor up to purple. I think that's not a bad idea for them to just start shooting them up. Yep. This, this and the IMC facility. Th this is the eating your vegetables of Apex Legends. I mean, it's not glamorous, but I mean, you're getting an insane amount of val value and first to red wins the game and retrospect oh, in no. the rare uh, early game drop could be the first team eliminated. It's Mano tries to get away and there's nothing they can do. Retrospect! They were in second place. This looks like that means third. the teams in third, fourth, and fifth could potentially take second place from them. That, they're that not going to be getting any points. That is huge. Um, a lot of these teams, um, just so people, if you're not familiar with the way that um, these tournaments are ran and, and possibly what the players are seeing, um, the kill feed, we see the names of the kill feed, but they do not see the names. The only thing that they see the name of is the team eliminated. 
So I imagine Team Girl, Seagull, Drum Bum, Staycation, all these teams at the top, they just saw Team Retrospect go down and they're thinking, wait a minute, second place, third place is a lot more attainable now, now that one of the Titans of this tournament so far has dropped. Speaking of attainability, Verhoels able to eliminate Team Jinx. Team Jinx team is out again oh, in the bottom. Jinx Their cannot catch continue. a break. That's brutal. Um, oh, I'm that not, totally I'm not brutal. super familiar with uh, Jinx's teammates. Um, I thought that they were professional caliber. I think you could just chalk it up to a tough day, which happens. Yeah, to it us. happens. It happens. There's in the game of like this, in the game with Apex Legends, there's going to be people on the, in the bottom, no matter yeah. what happens. Yep. No matter how good your pl their players are, there's always going to be some people that just have a tough day. Maybe get a bad drop, get some bad loot. It happens. The RNG is real. The yeah. teams with the most consistency throughout, like even Retrospect's team, who yes, they're eliminated early, they're still in the, in the running for for the top position. You can be eliminated early once, but getting eliminated early multiple times, that's that's starting to become a problem. Yep. And talking about teams that uh, could be benefiting from retrospect going out early, Team Daz, uh, James Fearless, Prince the Omega, and Daz. Uh, this team is has a lot of talent, um, and they have not gotten the results that they've wanted yet. And uh, looks like they're trying to find their way into center zone and, and leverage Watson's abilities, who still hasn't gotten banned, by the way. I cannot believe Watson has lasted this long, all things considered. All things considered. Oh, they're able to get a little bit of crafting. Maybe they can potentially get some batteries in here. Batteries have been so powerful for surviving in these long team fights throughout. However, Drum Bum seemed able to completely eliminate Team Drainilla. Team Drainilla is out early. Ooh. That's so unfortunate. You hate to see it. Drum Bum seems. I think they're still fighting. I think they're in the zone. They're not fighting, but they're in the zone just trying to keep themselves alive. It's going to suck because this zone does hurt. And now we got Zebra's team fighting Team Zach Mazer and uh, Zach Mazer and Team Clara. Yep. I believe that they're at full strength right now. The uh, names look oh, they both are. They're all on top of each other. Nice break coming out on that arc star. It looks like they're going to be the aggressors, but they're going to have trouble closing the gap because they chose Lifeline. Hello. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Lifeline is an interesting pick here. Oh. And Lifeline, like just like we said, Lifeline got knocked there. Dude. I don't know. Some of your memes should just stay dreams, bro. I, I, in, in, I, a, in a tournament setting where you still have the option of Gibby Y Lifeline. <laughs> in a world full of Gibby's Y Lifeline. I don't know. Oh, I respect surely, it. I do respect surely, the this pick. is a, a twisted joke. Hmm. Oh, man. Speaking of twisted jokes, Daz out here just trying to get a little bit of an action with the Sentinel. I don't know why that has to do with twisted jokes, but I just wanted to bring up I, Daz I was here. going to say. <laughs> Okay, team, team, team Clara actually opting to continue to keep using Loba for this entirety of this tournament and Gibraltar. Gibraltar is still such a power pick for this type of tournament. Mm hmm. Yep. Although, I mean, with, with Mad Maggie still around, I, got, I have to keep referring to the bands just to double check that she's still around. I, I literally cannot believe it. But something's got to give. You can't have Gibraltar and Mad Maggie uh, because of that new interaction of her wrecking ball destroying the dome. Uh, I so think so, somebody's got to get banned. Oh, no, 100%. Mad Maggie would probably get banned this time around. I'm seeing Mad Maggie's on every single team. It looks here, Daz's team is looking to try to gatekeep Clara's team from trying to even oh get back gosh. in here. It might be doable because they have a really strong defensive composition here with the Watson, with the Mad Maggie, and, of yep. course, the Smokes, Prince on the on the Smokes, Bangalore herself. Got also, a couple some, something we there. haven't uh, brought up yet. Shout out Prince the Omega, the lone console player in this tournament. I don't know if you guys see that controller next to his name. That's not just because he's on the roller. That's because he's on the console repping the largest player base uh, in Apex. Very cool to see console inclu included in this tournament. Definitely. I'm glad they added cross play so that they can happen. However, I don't know how long they're going to stay in this tournament. If they, Prince gets knocked like that, Screwy gets the first knock. Getting shot I mean, from the top. They're getting they're completely getting pinched here. This is not a good position for Daz to be in. Daz could potentially move out of it. Not enough. The battery did not come up. Oh James Fearless maybe should have had a little bit more fear in their eyes when they were trying to gatekeep. <laughs> Zebra is eliminated in the meantime, able to secure at least top 15. James they get this battle. The sliding elimination no. looking, looking like a trailer moment. It has come to an end. Reality sets in as like Rumbum uh, cleans up. Uh, oh my god. Uh, Daz's team. And, and I mean, people are just being so aggressive now. Everybody's, everybody's pushing everybody. Rambo trying to regroup and just get some placement points for his team. They got away with a kill. Verholst, the new kill leader. 
Oh my gosh, Rambro out here alone for the the lone team member of Team Big E, but Team Big E still able to secure uh, some placement points by being a little bit higher. I think they can do this. Being able, being in this meta with no Bloodhound, no Seer, no Crypto, you're not going to be worrying about scans at all. Ooh, and I really like this position. Uh, team Zero Love Given struggled a little bit earlier in this uh, tournament. They are basically in God spot, and they're going to be in a couple zones, I think. They've, they've got themselves a really good territory, and they're just going to go for placement. They're next door with a hot sick staycations team on the hill. Oh, definitely they, duplex. They, they, they got to be killing a little bit damage. exposed. They're definitely exposed. Duplex's team here is definitely a little bit more exposed, but... Oh, oh. and like that Tuxbird's team got eliminated by Average Aiden. Average Aiden securing so much KP already this early. They were yep. the ones that, that eliminated Team Jenks earlier, if you remember. Yeah, you're right. And th this is a team I think that we could say has underperformed compared to their skill level. I mean, average Aiden, I thought he was a professional, bro. And he's got uh, a Taxi as well as uh, Vayne on his team. I mean, they're just insane. Oh yeah, definitely a lot of teams here that are overperforming, like way past we thought they would, the, the places they thought we would, they would be. And then you got teams that are like, you know, kind of overpowered that on the bottom of the leaderboard, I was very surprised. I tried my best to make sure it was a balanced team, but you can only do so much when you balance. And seeing that it kind of like turn on its head is insane. That's what we hope for, though. I think we're throwing uh, some of these pros for a loop macro with this new format. Hopefully they're enjoying themselves. The patience from Zach Mazer waiting outside that bubble paid off as he destroys Voltic with the PK. Uh, looking to punch his teammate, Akuna to safety. Was it worth taking 100 damage, though? Verholst is really close. Aping! Just trying to get some KP. Anmu, I don't think Anmu's going to be able to survive here at all. The zone might just kill Anmu here. No, Anmu able to get one syringe off. Oh, and now Verhol's kind of lost a little bit, to be honest. Now, oh my pinch, god, is left and turn right. on him in just one clip? Verhol's showing his back to 100 Thieves Anmu. The cojones. Oh, there's definitely some cojones here. Oh Designful gosh. able to get a, get a knock on Drumbum. That means that's a Prizzy right there behind him. A Prizzy and Wig. Are they going to be able to save their teammate? Are they going to push this or are they just going to run away? Gosh, the aggression from Verhulst in, in design just to keep on the pressure on uh, Nicewig is just insane. They're just doing it as a duo. They don't care. They're just saying it's do or die now. We need to get our points or else this tournament is not worth it. They get the knock on Wig. Designful gets the knock on Wig. That's two two out of three of them down. All, the only one left is a Prizzy. A Prizzy might just choose to rat here or choose to fight. It depends. It's 2v1. We've seen a Prizzy do it before, but it's a little bit dangerous. And now Designful is the kill leader. God, with five kills kills oh my lord barrel is able to get tifa's banner so they, and they have a mobile respawn beacon honestly this is going to be a big game for them but we've already have nine kills between the two of them look at where they are in the placements their team tifa's in uh almost like the bottom of the of the lobby um bottom of the leaderboard but they have all this talent i think this is going to be a big game for them they're, they're going to try to claw their way into that top six and get some of that cheddar Crazy might be able to get the banners here. He does have one of the best characters for getting shot at for running away. One banner down, one more to go. Can he get Drumbum's banner here? Might be, it may be able to happen. They got it. All they need is a mobile respawn. They have the Moby. They have the Moby. He's going to call it. There's so many uh, Bangalores. That's that's a character that has also had a healthy pick rate. Ooh, Shiny eliminates Moose's team. Moose's team is now out. Top 11 squads right here. A lot of squads all over this area. Yep. And just like I was thinking, I think the zone pull is st still near uh, zero love given. And these houses with hot six, zero love, it's just so crowded. I don't think there's there's no more room. Oh, a Prizzy maybe, maybe should have went for the res earlier. This is, now it's a terrible position for a Prizzy. A Prizzy might be eliminated right there. Dude, and Tifa Jess uh, is and like back that, a with them, out. But, but design goes down. Verholst has the cover over his height, but I'm not sure he's gonna be able to close the gap and get that uh, res. Yeah, it's unclear. If they, if they can get that res off, that would probably be priority here. One of them has to cover, one of them has to go for the res. They have, oh, absolutely. They have the, I don't think they have the portal because Tifa just got respawned in. They don't have the portal to get him back out here. For but the cover is coming the cross. in. This oh, team no. does not want design to go back, but I mean, if Verhulst is staring at you, there's not much that you can do or else you might risk getting knocked yourself. Has to take the cannon. Is he gonna come back right away, or is, or are they abandoning design? He's already knocked, and it's gonna be too crowded now. They are out of there, and it's just a firing squad waiting for them. Oh, it's no. way too crowded. They you gotta got not their take eliminations, the jump but this is what happens when you go for eliminations. I mean, there's not gonna be anywhere left for you. 
And Tifa oh team, even though they su successfully respawned everybody, get completely eliminated by Rambu. Oh my god, Team Big E is also eliminated right now by Yanya. I love the See? Loba pick right there. I mean, the loot is just coming to you, but the only problem is, is that they're not really getting eliminations right now. This isn't a damage con contest. Like, they need to get kills. Yeah, they hopefully, hopefully they're going to get some picks. Because placements are important, but if you get eight kills on top of that, that's the equivalent of getting like second place. New King, yep. New King gets eliminated by Yanya. Siegel's team is completely dominating right now in terms of kills. And it looks like Duplex and Reptar uh, are still alive. I'm looking at the mini map, but it looks like somewhere along the way, Staycation lost his way um, and may have gotten knocked. They're still trying yeah. to control that hill. It's a lot of hill to control with just the two of them. And I wonder if Staycation took a Staycation from this from this competition. Yep, he might. It might be dead. Oh, there's a team fighting. I think Average Aided team, I think, is fighting over in the bottom left corner of the map. They're not even in the zone yet. Well, meanwhile, his and hers team is just completely setting up and bunkering up, hunker bunkering up here with both Caustic and Crypto. It's Sorry, a hunker bunker Caustic situation. And Ca Caustic and Watson. <laughs> it's a hunker boys bunker party. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hatsuk able to get some clean damage here. They're just playing underneath this, like, yeah, this building. Well, They're not wait, in the building. Isn't this his building? He's so this, confident about uh, his side not being exposed that he's uh, taking space. And that's what these pros do. They, You can't just allow teams to move in around you. You need to take that space. So that, I'm not surprised that he's playing outside. He must be really in a strong confident, position, though. In, in a good position to rotate here. They're not in the zone yet, but they're not really in t t intention to get in the zone. Yep. However, Reptar got a little bit of side of phony there. Everyone's seeing that res. I don't think anyone's going to ape that res right now. It's a little bit too dangerous. Team Girl just almost running away with it here. I mean, by making it to seventh place, they are really uh, widening the gap from first place. So this is, you know, first place POV right now. Oh, definitely, definitely. That house is no longer in, and hopefully that team has a Maggie or a Wraith or something, because this rotation is going to be a pain. Oh, it's definitely going to be a pain right now. We're seeing a lot of Bangalores. I'm seeing a lot of Bangalores. Mm -hmm. I also feel like maybe it's a little bit of an underrated pick, but we, I mean, not underrated, a little bit more of an overrated pick on the lower end, but Wraith was being used tremendously this entire time. Yeah. Honestly, I wonder uh, what's in the crafter right now. I, are we seeing a lot of digi threats or no? Because that could easily be the undoing of Bangalore or cause Bangalore to be picked even more if you know that your team's Ooh, gonna just crash. Vacation team just got eliminated by phoning girl. That's all right. I mean, they still got that seventh place uh, placement. They're going to be one of our uh, however, board, board however, teams. But Girl is also in a spot of trouble. Girl's just going to try to rat it out as Bangalore. She's going to try to hide in her smoke as Taxi is just no following through. Taxi said, are you talking to me? He's like, he's the real <laughs> taxi driver right here, man. That was too much. Oh, yep. man. Apex Legends bad boy. Okay, we got Dude, zero love given zero. Seems still have this coward's position with no kills, but they have the best spot. And they have uh, they have a Wraith, they got the Loba with to keep getting loot, and they got the Caustic, which is really strong here. Mamba just wants to set up a good position here with the Caustic. They got the red armor, only Zero's the only one without the red armor, but they have no, they have plenty of armor. They have so much armor to just go lower. It pulls outside to that hill, and it's just gonna I just wonder if that uh, team on the height has like a rock or something. I think they're gonna go up to that rock that Voltic's looking at right now. Um, it's going to be average Aiden's team that I think is going to end up in God spot as everybody's just pulled out of their buildings. It's going to be Caustic ults and it's going to be Bangalore ults and it's just going to be chaos at this final zone that's basically in a wide open field. Oh, man. Yeah, this is, these team compositions are not something I was expecting to see. A lot of, lot of Bangalores. I think Bangalore is definitely one of those characters that has been used really strong. Like, cause yeah. as the last, as the last cover, she doesn't, she doesn't provide actual physical cover, but she's the last character that has a visual cover. You know? Yeah, teams are playing the meta of aggression. It's a lot of these aggro characters. But the thing I'm surprised about is where the Gibbies. I imagine a lot of these teams are wishing that they had a Gibraltar right now. That would make things a lot more comfortable for them. Uh, shots coming through in the smoke as Voltic tries to hide in his own gas. He's not able to. Average Aiden dominating this hill. And this is the rock that I was talking about. This is God spot. This is just oh, served uh -huh. up on a silver platter for Team they Average Aiden. As, as the teams inside are saying, you know what? We're not going to be farmed by Average Aiden's team. We're just going to duke it out right here in our own building. We're going to trade KP. Oh, Hot 16. His and hers is out. It's only three teams left. Zero love Seems given. It, it, they, they need KP, so they're just deciding to just take the fight to them as the zone is just pushing them already. 
And they're oh, just going to be cleaned <laughs> up. Taxi's team is going to clean up right <laughs> now. Such a pain. They're in awful positioning. Oh my god, average Aiden, more like way above average Aiden here. <laughs> a little too good, average Aiden is the champion. They had the god spot, they had the position, they had the health. You can't, you just can't give them that much space. The team like this is just, <laughs> it's just a slam dunk for team average Aiden. Well played by Team Zero Love given. Uh, getting that second place, I don't think a lot of a limbs though. Mm, true, true, I, true. I, w I wonder who was the most picked. It felt like bang by the end. You, you're, I don't gonna, know. you're gonna be baffled by this. Oh, you're God. gonna be is, baffled. Is it, gonna, is it gonna be Pathfinder or something? The number like it's like one something weird. most picked legend this round, even though we didn't see it at the higher end, the number one most picked legend was Wraith. So Wraith oh. will be auto banned for the rest of the tournament. This is the final round coming up. However, you have to vote between these next three legends. It's no, not surprising. Octane, Bang? Pathfinder, and Bangalore. Not even Mad Ooh. Maggie scraping the top Ooh. four. Really? I guess people just really, gentlemen's agreement, were like, no Gibby, no caustic we're just not gonna do that today we're just not gonna play what's optimal today Mac, I'm, thinking, I'm thinking next Macdown, we got to do like 10 games or something so that way you're forced to play one team at the end i mean i'm mad, i'm kind of bad i'm kind of mad that we're going into the game six with maggie still around with gibraltar still around i'm, I'm with, and with caustic, watson still around watson all these influential legends that i thought that were, were making a big impact in the game they're making it to this final round of storm point okay so now that we're at this final round let's take one last break and while we're doing that break you can vote for which of the legends you want to ban, Octane, Pathfinder, or Bangalore. Stay tuned. Go vote. Welcome back. I'm Boom Razzle. And I'm Macro. And this is the Macdown Tournament. This is game number six. Let's check out who was banned this round. This is two legends were banned after every single game. So we are now to 10 legends. 50% of the roster <laughs> is no longer available. I and cannot this believe round, it. <laughs> I cannot believe it. Wraith. <laughs> They banned, Wraith was banned by usage, which is like, you Wraith, know, it happens. Wraith. Yeah. But the legend that was banned by voting, and I saw some of my, the streamers here coming in going like, get rid of the zip line. Pathfinder is out. Pathfinder what? is out. <laughs> they so, went for the OGs, Wraith and Pathfinder. So the, the end results, these are the, like at this point, 10 legends are gone. Bloodhound, Pathfinder, Wraith, Crypto, Horizon, Valkyrie, Seer, Ash, Newcastle, and Vantage. You're left. With, Gib with Gibby, Lifeline, Bangalore, Caustic, Mirage, Octane, Watson, Revenant, Loba, Fuse, Mad Maggie. All really solid pickups. Not really any scans here. Not really too much movement here. I mean, Octane is the exception at this point. So maybe we'll see some Revtane. Maybe we'll see a little bit of, you know, Bunker, Hunker, Bunker, Caustic, Watson comps. It's going to be a mixture of either aggro, aggro, or Bunker, Bunker up, you know? I think you're exactly right. I think it's going to be mostly aggro as we got a lot of people that are on the cusp right now. Let's take a look at the standings as we see so many teams are within striking distance of sixth place. And that is our cutoff for winning money today. So we got Team Girl just dominated up at the top. They only got a seventh place uh, finish that last game, uh, but they are looking like a sure thing, barring any horrible things going on. And we got Team Seagull coming rushing into second. Retrospect still up at the top, ever consistent. Team Average Aiden finally looking like they're uh, finding their groove. And Team Drum Bum just staying consistent as well. And Team Staycation over in sixth. But like I said, a lot of people over on the fringe fighting for that top six placement. Yeah, anybody that has above 24 points can still get into the top six easily and still make the money, still do their best, still make a showcase here. And I'm really, really proud of everybody that participated and adapted and kind of had a good time seeing these random and weird picks and still succeeding. I love it. I love seeing these pros and these content creators meshing together, adapting and having a good time. And I'm having a great time right now. I don't know about you though, Boom. I've been having a miserable time. This has been amazing, <laughs> Macro. Thank you so much for what you bring to the community. The creativity is a breath of fresh air and I hope that everybody's appreciated. Uh, just a little bit of a shakeup of the traditional Apex Legends tournament. Oh, definitely, definitely. So we are gonna be starting in on our final round on Storm Point. Let's see what the legends that, what legends are legends pick. See, I see what I did there? See what oh, I did there? I, okay, okay, I like that. I'm hoping that, dude, I thought, I thought that we were gonna get closer to uh you know some of those less popular legends i mean we, i know we saw one lifeline still not convinced that wasn't an accident I'm hold hoping on, hold we on, see, hold I'm on. is that tuxbird on mirage is that tuxbird on yes, mirage that's what I'm let's saying. go this is your opportunity because dude the macro macro i think you understand better than most if you're so so you said you know if you don't have 24 points you might not be able to get a shot at the money but there is always time for content, my friend. So if somebody always. is in the if somebody's in last place and they dunk on somebody with a mirage ultimate or something, 
you can have a viral moment and you and you can pop off so i hope that a lot of people still feel motivated to try their best um and uh have some moments out there probably the craziest thing that i've noticed is that our leaderboard like the people in the lead girl she has been able to essentially keep Watson all six rounds. They let her get away with that. Me? They let her get away with that. You could have chose like these compositions. You could have <laughs> had your chat come. There was an option where Watson was on the chopping block. You had the option to maybe get your chat to come in here and vote. But no, you let them vote for meme picks instead. And we're left with this insane final, final round. Can we get a justice for path in the in the uh, in the chat, please? I'm thinking uh, too many things rhymed with Pathfinder. Uh, like, you know, zip lines not fine and all that, you know, it, you know, your words can be hurtful people. So let's get some justice for path, please. Uh, and I, and we're going to be still seeing Maggie Watson Bangalore. I imagine they're going to be three legends that are going to be dominating still so strong that if somehow survived, uh, five separate rounds of eliminations. Uh, like here, we're seeing Grill doing the same thing they did last time. They're going to be chilling up here in the north pad, going to get get all the loot they need, and then they're going to fight the Prowlers to get their armor up to purple. It's a smart play. It's oh, a God. very, very strong play as well. However, <laughs> Aberdeen battles. team, the team that won the last round, they're already fighting. <laughs> I imagine a lot of these people are saying it's do or die. Zero love goes down. Well, it's all three up for average Aiden. And, and the quadruple kick on the door. Oh and my if, God. if Vayne goes down, this could be horrible. Average Aiden has a 1v1. These are two isolated fights, Macro. Oh, there it is. Oh. Vayne able to secure it. Average Aiden's team is able to stabilize, gets three points. This is actually huge. They are one of the teams that could still win this whole game. Yep. And getting and this extra KP is going to be really huge if they can get to a really good placement. Exactly. This is a team that is trying to have an enormous game, and that's starting off on the right foot. But in the meantime, let's make sure to show a lot of love to Zero Love. Let's make sure that his name is Lots of Love today. Well played, and thanks for playing in the tournament. Uh, yeah, well. to, to him to him and his, his team, um, there were some definite, definite bright spots today, even though yeah. the games might not have gone how they wanted. Oh, definitely. Zero, love you so much for playing. Thanks to you. You're a brother. Like, I consider you you're like a brother to me, man. I love you, man. Thank you so much for participating. But without further ado, we got Big E, Big e here. Oh, unfortunately, Rambro picked, Dude, Rambo. picked Wraith. They picked the Wraith, and they had to be forced. Now they're forced into a 2v3 situation Dude. because they cannot have their third. It happens. We already told them what would happen if you pick the wrong legend. You have to jump off a map. That doesn't wait. mean you're out of the running. That just means that you're going to have to be at a disadvantage. Wait, wait. Who did this? Repeat uh, that again. Rambro. Rambro basically picked Wraith, and they had to jump off the map. Ah! No, I didn't know that. I didn't see that. That is yeah, so tragic. Yeah. I thought the team princess somehow got an edge on him. No. Oh, what a it, troll. It sucks. It sucks, especially this deep into the position. It's just yeah, not a it's, fun it's feeling. It's just tough on uh, our end and as well on, as our on our players. And, you know, they, they don't really have the visuals. So, so from their perspective, they're looking at a roster of 20 legends. Um, and honestly, it's, got, it's a lot to keep track of. But good on Rambro for uh, being a person of his word and and <laughs> flying off the map his team's got to be. Speaking shaking, of people, shaking their head. the best thing that I love to see right now, we got a little bit of Mirage action with Tuxbird. Tuxbird, obviously, he's not he's in the lower end of the leaderboard. They could still probably maybe swing in, maybe get a couple griefs here. Hey, a big game. A big game with a couple of big kills could be all it takes to get to the top of the leaderboard. So you're never really out of the running until you're out of the running, you know? Yeah, and, and I'm watching Staycation's team right now, and they are really cautious it's it's funny watching people you know this this is before uh this is seer no longer around this is bloodhound no more around and i think they were nervous that somebody was above them they're going for a rotation gonna try to get in the zone and i wonder if this is gonna be a team on the war path or if they're gonna be smart and try to play for like top three or something get that money uh, it's going to be definitely hard to say. They do have a very aggressive team composition, but Loba does help them kind of stabilize if they need better armor, need better loot, need better ammo, heals, whatever they need. Loba is one of those picks that's been used throughout all six rounds. Um, and I think just has, is still a powerful pick even this late into the game. I can't, I can't believe she's made it past five rounds. Shame, oh. shame, chat, shame. How could you? Just kidding. Maggie is a ton of fun to watch. Oh, Maggie, Maggie is a is a legend that exists, and I'm glad that everyone just gentlemen. I tell you, the gentlemen agree. He's giving. I respect that. I mean, gen gentlemen or not, I, I think this is a, this is a Maggie agreement. I think just her mere existence is uh, causing people to think twice about choosing Gibraltar. 
Oh, definitely, definitely. And look at them using the kill the seagull, just killing the IMC robots right now. They just want to get all that loot, all that God, armor. The, these holds are so insane. They're so strong. You're getting like your the evil up. You're getting upgraded everything, and we're hopping into some action. We got Team New Ga New King trying to stabilize in a battle with uh. Who, I wonder who they're fighting. It looks like Zach Mazer. He's a lethal opponent. Bronzy able to crack their armor though. Can Bronzy secure this kill? Nope. They're gonna. Oh wait. Mad Is that Maddie? Cannibal through right there? I don't know if it does. It, it, it might have. Oh it might have. I'm not even sure. Bronzy just decimated Zach Mazer with the Eva. It is an Eva meta. Obviously, PK is still slapping, but oh my god, Bronzy just gave Zach Mazer the business. As they're going to try to wrap up, it's now 3v2 versus Clara and Hakuna. They try to get inside, but it's just going to be a double kick on the door. Aggression is coming through with this Mag Maggie come. There's, and like there's that, nothing Claire's you can do about team that. is eliminated. Thank you so much, Team Clara, for participating. But you're going to give Noob King a chance to get into the top and into the money. Yep. And here we see Team Moose. Dude, it is just battles left and right. We can't even keep track of all these fights. Uh, team Moose is aggressing on this team. They're chasing people down with another Maggie Octane Bangalore. That's, this has got to be the comp of the day. I feel like everybody we're watching is running this. Oh, definitely. Maggie, Octane, Bangalore. Who would have thought? Not me. This is one of those compositions that doesn't seem like it would work, but given the circumstances, probably the best option you have. Yep. Yeah, and this is Tiffa's team uh, fighting off Team Moose. Looks like they were able to stabilize here. Oh, oh just trying to yoink all was the that a, Was that a Revenant totem coming through? I, I heard that. I heard that Revenant totem, and I got a little... Oh, I peed a little bit. Oh, my <laughs> lord. I think they have Revenant and Caustic too. That is this. That is just the BM comp. I, it's the most toxic comp ever. Might actually be the best composition you could have chose. Getting the Reptane into Caustic. Reptane plus Caustic ult. That's a little too strong. Wave over here. They're they able to repel that team. That's the crazy thing about a Revenant ult. If they're not able to get the uh, knock, I mean, the Revenant ult just kind of stops. Like the push stops. But the pressure persists, and they are just trying to find angles, trying to catch somebody on Tiffa's team sleeping. Uh, this is Jank's team uh, underneath. It's just so crowded in this building. I don't, I don't even know if all these teams realize just how crowded it is. Oh, that's definitely the thing that most people don't even realize. With no scan, with no way to really know anything, no, and with footsteps, you know, being Apex, it's going to be very yeah. difficult to know if there's even a team on top or below you. Gosh, this is just a frantic pace for this lobby. Teams upstairs, downstairs, looking at you from outside. Yet, ironically, with all those people around... Nobody's now wanting to do anything. People are starting to be a little bit more cautious about being aggressive. Not wanting to be the the, the third party. Uh, they're getting third party, but wanting to be the third party. What is Designful doing out there? I'm actually so concerned for I'm not sure what his goal is. I, I, uh, are they the, not able to, I don't think they're able to play inside because Jinx is inside. So they're trying to coexist with Jinx's roof. Verhulst able to get the knock on wave though. That's a huge knock, but the Bangalore ult is coming out. We're going to see a ton of Bangalore ults in this final round. We could have had zip lines, chat. We could have had zip lines. <laughs> this is what you wanted. Are you not entertained? <laughs> yeah, you asked for this. <laughs> and like that, Verhulst is the only one left on Octane. Speedy boys are running around. Got to go fast. Got to be on drugs. He's going <laughs> doing the best he can. Maybe gonna gonna be able to escape, but however, they're gonna be running into drum bum. Sorry, shiny and seagull team. Oh. Ooh, did they get the crack on him? Zebra seems eliminated. And Girl team able to kill Daz. Daz. Goes down as well. Oh, and here's the aggression. Moose just says, you know what? Let's get some points. They go in for the push. Oh my god, Cody able to knock Jenks. This is actually the rivalry of the Jeez. century. Moose and Jenks. Moose versus Jenks. That's what they wanted. Jenks is still god. alive though. Team Tifa eliminated by Seagull team. This, this is just so much chaos going on right now. That's Jenks going down. That's Tifa going down. So many teams dying in the kill feed. And every, everybody realizes what is happening by now. And this is just the, the server closing in on itself. So every, everybody's just saying, all right, fine. This is how we're going to do it. And it's just adding to the chaos, fuel to the fire. On top of the fact that there's Bangalore Ultimates, Maggie Balls, <laughs> Dude, there's, Maggie there's... Tacticals, smoke <laughs> everywhere. You can't see anything. You can't scan anything. There's no knowledge. It's crazy. This is the most chaotic Apex has been since Season 1. It feels like there's just a permanent carpet bomb. As Moose, I just love that they're not letting up. They're just running into Seagull team, but then they're getting shot in the back. It's just too much to keep up with. But I think, Oh I my think god, Enoch is able it... to knock Yanya and Seagull. God. Honestly, I, I imagine a couple of these pred grinders are got a little bit of a uh, something to prove, a chip on their shoulder, if you will, uh, for some of these pros. 
And I got to believe, you know, Enoch might be uh, looking to go pro pretty soon. And this is him making a statement. But hold on. I shine. He says, not so fast, my friend. Okay, Can't. Cody's being going to be able to maybe stabilize here if they can get this res off. They have a couple armor swaps already on the floor there. Shiny's the only one left on their team. If Shiny can potentially get the res off on Seagull, that could be huge. This has been going be like on for like five sustained minutes. Just battling over here at, uh, uh, what, what is this POI called? It's, uh... Tab strafing is insane. <laughs> Dude, Jesus, these guys are nasty. The dropship, I think. This is dropship, right? Uh, land, no. Land, uh, something like that. Land ship. <laughs> Star Wars ship. Yes. And Not that it matters, by the way, Boom, but the, ban the legend <laughs> that would have been banned, it would have been Octane this, this round. <laughs> Guaranteed. We can see it now. Everyone's running Octane. I kind of yeah. love it. I love Octane. Octane's my favorite legend besides Lifeline in this game. I knew no one was going to pick Lifeline, but thank God everyone's picking Octane having a blast with this movement legend. Gosh, I mean, it's just a game that is defined by jump pads and carpet bombs. It felt like back there, there was just a permanent Bangalore alt on the ground. And this is just, this is kind of like a rare moment of like calm. It's kind of funny, like, you know, Team Girls, you know, they're looting, uh, barometer, they're just having a little poke battle. Meanwhile, over at Shipfall, uh, it's just hell is storming down over there. I mean, girl, Team Girls been playing a really smart game here. They know that they're at the top. They know they don't need that many points to secure that top spot, but they do still have to place really well and, of course, get a couple kills on the way. They're yeah. not like other teams that need to get not just a couple kills. They need to get, like, kill half the lobby and get first exactly. place to get into the running here. So Dude, and Enoch yeah. is taking that to heart. He's the kill leader with five kills. Oh, Enoch knows that if he, if he gets, I mean, if he gets a couple more kills here and gets first place, there's a chance that they'll be in the money. Not even, maybe even win. We'll see what happens, yeah. though. But I, th I think that's interesting that Team Girl is uh, playing a little bit more passive. I know they have a couple kills, but sometimes it's risky to play a different kind of game. Um, it's, it's, it's more important sometimes to just like keep on playing the way that you were playing. But I think Team Girl's in a great spot. Team Princess now walking in as a duo on Moose, and they're a duo. So many fractured teams just looking for kills. They're on the hunt. Yeah, definitely a ton of fractured teams here. And already, oh Crazy Ratchet God. able to get the kill on Enoch! That was a perfect, perfect, beautiful thing there. Dude, Ratchet is so nasty. Oh my god. He loses out. Crazy Ratchet able to get Sign to the man. Oh my lord. He's a one oh. clip factory. I think we're going to end up seeing that on Twitter later. Oh my gosh. That's Crazy disgusting. Ratchet. Where is Crazy Clank when you need him? That was so <laughs> incredible to see. Oh my lord. The one clips left and right. Dude, I mean, I think even Enoch is going to be complaining about aim assist after that one. That was disgusting. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, man. It's going to be one clip left and right, especially with not much cover. Not much cover means that everyone's going to have to play either the long, long range game or you're playing right inside that building, right in Dude, front of each other's macro. faces. Look at the map. There's like one team in zone. Just everybody <laughs> is just playing edge and just fighting. This Everybody's just battling. Speaking oh, of fighting, that on move, on move, not able to secure that one knock. Clips. Dude, 190 coming through. You hate to see it. Jesus oh, Christ. Enough. Sometimes I wonder what's the difference between me and a pro. I think that right there is the difference. That is unbelievable, the talent displayed by some of these people. And there's a reason why this guy's on 100 Thieves. Oh, man. This is insane. We'll cover, of course, we got a charge driver across the map. Mick's still Dude. in the running to potentially get some points here. And that's what they want. That's what they need. That's what they crave. Dude, oh, did they just uh, block their own teammate? What is going no. on? No, no, that's not his girl. They're just trying to find a girl's team. They cannot afford to, to lose this out here. Taxi able to secure a kill. Drainil's team is Dre's completely out. Drainil's team is completely gone. To Taxi, Thank you so dude, much. This is this is average Aiden's team. Yeah, GG's, Dre, Fun, um, and Zara Tricky. You guys made this tournament a lot more fun. However, Preezy's team having to fight Duplex's team here in Staycation. Staycation in the running here to win this. Oh man, the the 18, the 9, Ooh, I hate the that. whips, the whips, the whips. A Preezy able to get another kill on, on Duplex and Drum. Dude, dude look, look at a Preezy trying to get the elim. He understands how tournaments work and he knows when oh his team God. is dead. Just get an elimination. Just Drum uh, Bum's team is eliminated by Staycation's team. Staycation's team is in the running to win this all. Oh my God. Oh my God. Team Girls eliminated. There's actually a chance for Average Aiden's team to win okay. this all. 
And they're gonna stabilize with the caustic Dude. ultimate. Maybe not, maybe not though. They're fighting in the bubble with the caustic ult. Huge shots coming down from Vayne, and he's the last one around. He's one out. Average Aiden's team is out. Dude, that's team Mick coming in with Voltic on the average Aiden was having a huge game, all to have it pulled away from him from this roster. No way. This is actually going way different directions than we when we thought. Stake Asian seems still alive though in, in fifth place. They're responding duplex as we speak. Yes. Dude. Plenty of loot to plenty of loot here. There's plenty of loot to chat. Let's get some dupes. <laughs> Oh my god, look at how sparse the zone is. I'm just looking at the mini-map, and it's just solos hiding and, and only one team in zone. Oh, and Team Princess' team is eliminated in the, in the edge of the other side of the zone. There's top four squads here. I think there's one... No, all three of them have full squads. This is going to be so intense. A couple of, <laughs> with the exception of Tuxper, Tuxper's team in top four with a couple KB, with the Mirage. I don't think they're in the running, but they don't even care. They want to have a good time. They exactly. want to get a couple of kills. They want the content. Tuxper, I will see you on my YouTube channel later when you win this. Tuxper, doing it for the Vine. <laughs> doing it for his YouTube, man. He wants it. He wants that content, the clip. Yeah, they're just battling. They don't care. This is Team Mick fighting Team Staycation. And they're not... Oh. They, who cares about the zone? They're just like, let's do it right here. Screw it. And Staycation jumps into the action. He's able to get a knock, but goes down himself. Oh, his Reptar and Staycation are down. Oh my god, did you see a tap strafe? I did, I did. No, sorry, Mark Mendes is out. Oh my god, and Mick's dude, out. A dude. duplex is still alive, Tube. Tube is still alive, keeping them in top three with KP, but, they, but he's the only one left. He's a lone rat versus two other full squads. That's what they wanted. They committed to that fight. They said, you know what? I think we'd rather just get KP in a placement then possibly lose it all and get fourth place because we play scared. So they're playing bold. And there's and there's room. There's literally room for op, for duplex. I mean, uh, nobody might pay attention to him. Hopefully he doesn't die to zone, though. Oh, but duplex, wide open. Yeah, compared duplex to able to get game, in. Compared to game one, I mean, he's able to rat here. He's going to let this, this full, two, th full three mans fight each other. Yeah, he played third for smart. the win. If Dupe is smart here, he, he just waits. He just waits it out. I mean, they know he's probably oh, Dupe here. Dupe is smart. Oh, no, they they, they, they kind of know. They knew. They knew. Yeah, they kind of know they something's know. up. Oh, they don't they're need both, both teams no. are looking at him. Both teams want him dead. They're like, no, nah, no, nah, give us the second place. We don't want this. You to get second place. We want second place minimum guaranteed. The team's gentleman agreement just gonna kill Duplex here. Hey, dude, I, this team commits a much harder to Duplex though. Uh, the other team might swoop in and try to kill him, and it might True. work in Duplex's favor. Now Duplex is getting bullied by both teams. It's, oh it's looking God. like the end. It's looking like the beginning end. There comes the nade. They're committing Monsoon so many with the resources. Is in the Ooh. open. No one's even looking <laughs> at him. Duplex is still alive. alive. The tap shape is too strong. They're like, forget it. <laughs> they gave up for now. They're letting Duplex survive as they refocus on the 3v3. They need to play for the win as the zone is going to be coming. And no team. Macros, no one is in zone. <laughs> Oh my god, these teams are just playing so differently and I love it. Only in the Macdown, oh, ladies and gentlemen. Nano, Only in the Macdown would you see this. Duplex, 2v2. This is the final round. It is Tuxbird against Nano. Oh my god, Tuxbird versus Dude, Nano. this is Tuxbird. Retro. This is Retro's team. Retro this is team. Oh team. my god, if Retro wins if, this, I think they, they win, win the this, tournament. They might win it all. We Dude, gotta see I this. would love for Retro to win this. That would be so insane. They're going they to jump pad. This is the aggro play. They don't want zone to end it, they want to end it on their own terms. Getting a couple of chip there, no, they're still playing a little passive, they can't, they can't play stupid. Dimi able to get a knock on Monsoon! Monsoon has been knocked! Are you knocked. kidding me? That's already, a it's a 2v3 now. However, I think Nano's been knocked, it's 2v2, 2v2 Dude, happening. Mango's down, it's 1! One. Last one left, it's just Tuxbird! It's just Tuxbird's Tux. out! Retro! Dude, oh Retro wins! I, this is gonna come down to the wire for whether or not uh, his team actually won first place. Oh my god, Retro, really, his team was just playing so consistently. They were playing so consistently throughout this tournament. Like, that's just so incredible, but we're gonna see exactly what the standings are after a short, 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 short break, okay? So stay tuned for that. That was such an incredible round. Wow. And we're gonna talk to our team captain, Retro, and his entire team yeah, after this. Yeah, let's go in for a uh, call with Retro after this. And welcome back. I'm your host, Macro.
And I'm Boom Razzle, your co-host. And we're both really excited to see the standings, the final standings. We had a lot of crazy competition throughout, a lot of really cool team compositions, but in the end, Team Retrospect just barely inching it <laughs> I out. I can't believe it. That is Two so cool. Points. Oh my God. And top six, on sixth place, we got Drum Bum. Team Drum Bum with 47 points. Fifth place, Team Staycation, 51 points. Fourth place, Team Seagull with 54 points. Third place, Team Average Aiden with 56 points. Second place, our front runners the entire tournament but just at the end got squeaked out team girl with 65 and in first place team retrospect with 67 points dude that is amazing a lot of people really love match point format but basically retro brought the match point format they had it was do or die at the at the end and they ended up winning which i, I just it's just so cool but we actually have the winners here with us right now everybody your winner of the very first macdown tournament retrospect Hey guys. Hey Retro. hey Retro, nice to see you. I hope you're having a good time, man. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thanks for the invite. It was uh, pretty fun. I had a good time. Have you ever competed in a tournament like this before? Or any no, tournament? No, this is my first tournament. I'm, rep I'm out here representing Glitch Energy, my first <laughs> official org and first <laughs> official tournament. So yeah, this is, this is awesome. <laughs> Dude, you were nice. off to a really good start. Uh, yeah. Did you guys have like, did you guys realize that you could win? Did you think Not that it was possible? I Game six? kind kind of so like we were we were playing really consistently like trying to play slow right like we were using med kits in the storm like trying to avoid trying to avoid getting eliminated like off the drop because we were noticing like uh especially with the legend format as soon as you can't choose valk or seer or whatever those first two rounds like we knew they were going to be gone so we, we chose it off the drop and then try to get those like points on the first two matches because yeah by the time we got to the sixth match it was so close especially because we threw match five like Oh my God! Yeah, it was it was tough. <laughs> oh yeah, we saw that. We definitely saw. It was like Retrospect's team is out. We no saw way. we saw the yeah, twentieth yeah. place in match five, and you guys were like always in the top three. So we were we were cheering <laughs> for you. But to actually yeah. win and like <laughs> it caused the two point uh, lead yes, at the very end is insane. Exactly. I thought for sure that fifth match was gonna like be do or die and then whenever we were in when we went to the sixth match and we saw the standings and that we were i think we were like in third so it was essentially like we knew like we had to get top five and we have to come there with like two kills like minimum and then uh, we just ended up getting perfect height rotation and then we just kept it from there well let's give you mad props let's give mad props to your teammates i mean shout, yes. give a shout out to your teammates they, they came in clutch a lot of times coming and swooping a couple kills here and there and secured yeah. the dub the, the synergy like we haven't even played before we played like an hour before like stream and we were just like we immediately clicked and man the comms were on point today so like gg team retrospect today brought it oh hell yeah that was that's awesome really cool. to see one other thing that's really interesting to me like the format i was hoping we'd see a couple different interesting bands I, we got a lot of really interesting bands this time around i did not expect yeah. uh pathfinder of all characters to be banned before caustic gibraltar i think your team <laughs> benefited the most from the fact that people were not really aggressively choosing caustic because i yes. think you guys had caustic the whole six rounds absolutely like it it, it uh it uh ended up working out because like once valk was gone and pathy and like there was really only like octan as that movement legend we were able to hold height way more consistently mm -hmm. than we were like on that fifth match so that definitely that definitely played a, a big factor in in our ability to rotate for sure that's really cool. What, what was it like to be on the receiving end of like the, the legends being banned? It was really fun from our it perspective. Was, it was, was it uh, kind of anxiety inducing? What was that like? Very much so. There was so much anxiety and it was pretty terrifying because like you go in and you know your strats you're going to do. But then like by round two, you're like, great. Like, how do we do a rotation? How do we hold the door? Like, how are we going to get from here to here? It's funny because everybody's voting in between rounds. And then we have like, I would say like, what, a minute, 60 seconds to like talk out stretch. Like, okay, we got to pick this. We got to pick this. We got to pick this. We got to pick here. We got to here. We got we to make sure we throw smoke here. And like some some ideas aren't working and then some teams are working. You just got to like kind of figure out what was going to work the most. That was probably the most difficult. Like, you know, literally trying to figure out what legends are going to be used because at the end the counters are so hard like there's a lot of variety right at the beginning but at the end like you mess up or you don't have a good position that's it oh definitely with no shields no movement it just became an octane fest at the end <laughs> it was yeah. octanes i mean i i was more surprised that we like gibby was not banned at the end but because mad maggie stayed in the tournaments for so long yeah i think everyone was just afraid like what was your team's thought process of like using gibby or not using gibby the the problem the problem with gibby was like we we so we had ended up using gibby whenever there was too many movement legends available so like that's why we threw fifth round is because i ended up getting aped by all movement legends and so we so we ended up dropping gibby and we wanted to do caustic as well but he just does not work well in storm points so we ended up deciding bang because like 
that smoke ends up saving all our rotations. We went from, I think, like middle of barometer and had to go up the hill. The smoke is what saved us. Smoke and path. I think mm. without that, without that, we'd, we'd die for sure. There's no way we could have made it. Dang. That's, I was realizing that like more and more teams were dropping the Gibby, dropping the Caustic. They just, Ex the, with the exactly. movement legends, like with Valkyrie not existing, I think Valkyrie is kind of like that staple character mm. that makes these other characters yes. so strong. And Absolutely. I love that once the moment Valkyrie and Seer left, we just saw a whole different, like, like not just yes. like, we, I thought in my head when I made, when I designed this, this tournament, format i thought okay mm -hmm. these would be banned so the next like obvious the next ones that people were playing before would be it but no right. instead it changed the entire dynamic every single round was just a whole new like different strats I, I feel like only towards the end like the last three rounds or even like the last two rounds i feel like bangalore and mad maggie had like a stronghold on that and then octane yeah. at the end just had octane actually if we had one more round octane would have been auto banned yeah <laughs> like it was uh, that octane, <laughs> octane for sure was like the the main one i saw at the at the last round okay that's well, awesome i think i think that's uh all our time we have with you retro but thank you so much for participating congratulations on the win that's fifteen hundred dollars secured for you and your teammates so you could split that so i guess it's like five hundred hey, pop you yes know a little 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 what do you think you're gonna, you gonna spend it on i know you're into uh customizing <laughs> custom game boys do you think you're gonna funnel uh, it all into the game boy uh, hold fund on, hold on a second i'm about to oh, dude, get out there. Out, bring it out for stream yes out. sir yes sir dude i got a i got a custom aluminum game boy right here oh with damn a custom ips screen hold on let's get this little focus <laughs> oh, that so damn. Sick. That oh is so my sick. god, hello? <laughs> okay, that's pretty sexy. That's pretty sexy. Uh -huh. Buy some, <laughs> get more of those. Let's go. Yeah, dude, I'm gonna be modding some more Game Boys. <laughs> Buy some McChickens. That's right. <laughs> okay, thank you so much, Retro. Thank you so much for participating. We're gonna get to our final thoughts, but th yeah, Retro, congratulations once again. Yo, absolutely. Thank you for the invite. It was super fun. And uh, thanks for watching, chat. We appreciate it. Love you guys. <laughs> Some final closing thoughts, boom. Dude, that was that was a really cool format. I would love to do this again, and I think I would want to see it. I don't know. Can we? How does the math work out? Can we ban three? I, I want to see us scraping the bottom of the barrel, bro. For the legends, I want to see people playing Lifeline, Mirage. We we got close. We got close. We got fifty percent out of there. But I, I think season, that, I, th I think we could build upon this. This was amazing. Oh, one hundred percent. I think by season sixteen we will have twenty four legends, which means if we have six rounds of three, uh, five, it'd be fifteen bans. You would end up with nine legends left, <laughs> which would be like an ideal situation. Like obviously, I would yeah. have had three bans, but we don't want to like at this point. It's a little too early we'd only have seven legends left and there's just some legends that are just you know we don't want to with the bottom of the barrel is only so fun for so long for sure uh, for sure but thank you so much boom rouser for for helping me co-cast this for being such an amazing friend uh co-anchor we're gonna do this again the MacDown 2 chat let me know if you guys want it let me know if you guys need it uh, thank you so much to the fans for watching. Go thank ahead. Thank you, thank you for thank you for having me, Macro. J just for having this tournament and, and including me in the cast. It, this was a really special thing, and I hope this is something that can be built upon. I hope that respawn is taking note. I hope that some sponsors are taking note, so we could have the one million dollar MacDown next time. Million and, dollar uh, MacDown, ma ma dude. Million dollar MacDown just sounds this, this right. This has got a ring bro. to it. The Bolo Boys will be back. The Bolo <laughs> Boys will be back. Thank you so much, everybody, for watching, and I'll catch you later, you noob. Y <laughs> <laughs>